Hey, Nunkins, are you ready for a spooky SCP style Chinese horror game? Because this is what this one is, and it's something actually pretty unique. I don't think you will have seen in many places. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy. Shout out to Grunt Life, our Patreon supporter, for making this possible. Thank you so much, Grunt Life, you amazing Nunkin. As per usual, your support is really meaningful to us, and it matters a lot. If you want a shout out like Grunt Life just got now, you could shout out your business, you could shout out your art, you could shout out your um, YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. There are still a few $50 slots available, which they rarely are, consider checking it out on our Patreon right now with a link in the description. Other tiers too, it really helps us out. The only reason this content can keep coming is because of our Patreon, so thank you so much for all the support, especially of course to our producer Alice. Alice's link's on screen right now. Make sure you give her a follow because she is just fucking amazing, to be honest with you. Make sure you're following Alice right now. And anyway, that's that. Relax and enjoy this long play. Hi, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. If you're new here, I'm Mix. And I'm Quizum. And today we are playing Arrogation, Unlight of Day, or THE Arrogation, as the uh, on-screen information says here. This is a Chinese horror game, and we're going to check it out. So no. A new start. I have played a little bit of this on stream and stuff, but we're starting fresh from the beginning. Yes. Good start for the new horror. It didn't change the resolution when I click start. Yes. <laughs> There's laughter, so you know something horrible is about to happen. Oh, I like this. Oh yeah, it's got an interesting aesthetic. This game. Well, Bubba. We a bubba or just a clone? <laughs> a bubba clone? A clone of a bubba? I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> I guess we were dreaming? Oh my god, I have hands! <laughs> They do- you mentioned this the other day, that they do that a lot in first-person games. They do! They really do, and I don't understand the purpose of it, because the hands always look normal! I have no idea, and you're right. Unable to- okay, so you can't pick- oh yeah, I forgot, so... We need a camera. One of the main mechanics in this is using a camera, shockingly. Press the tab key to open the notebook, which contains all the information you've collected. This is- that's really important as well, from what I remember, like, to- know what to do, if that makes sense. Mm. Got the lighter. For our hand. Oh my god, I have a hand and a lighter. This is my lucky day. Like, I, I understand it more when, like, there we have an object in our hand, but when they always do it when you just wake up, you look at your hands like, what? What? Yeah. What? Uh, you have limited fuel for the lighter, by the way. Oh, that sucks. Mm-hmm. It does. I, I didn't come across a situation where I was in trouble of running out, but you never know. Okay, so we have black elixirs here. This gives you a speed boost for chase sequences, essentially, so you can run faster. Oh my god, so no. It actually is really fucking useful, from what I recall. Yes. I guess it's the chess set. Mm. Can't really tell, but that's what he said. There's no English, like, dub or anything mm. like that, but there is subtitles, obviously. At least there's subtitles. I'll take subtitles. I will open our journal in a minute and give you some backstory as well. The mask of the great Makala has not been collected, so we cannot open this door. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we need the camera still. That's not a watch. <laughs> you know what? It's 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 close. They're trying. They're trying. Do you hear someone run away then as well? What? 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 Do you hear someone run away then as well? What? 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 Do you hear someone run away then as well? What? 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 Mm, 
，孙子最北边有你需要的东西。等你拿到它，我会再联系你的。你想找什么？喂，你还在吗？喂，喂。最北边，我记得那里应该是村委会大楼。Okay, we'll look at our journal so we can explain the story. But first of all,、uh, I should pick up. Can I pick up the camera? Why am I not picking up the camera? It's right there. Maybe we need to go out here first. Maybe it's contextual. 简单的童年快乐。Puff Puff Loco. You know what? This is cute. I'm trying to remember how to use my lighter. There we go. Right click. Got a crowbar. Now we're gonna get up. So the story reason we need the camera to look at notes is we're a journalist and we're recording evidence of things we find.、Mm. Okay. So let's look at the journal, which will be really important as we go through the game. Ever since the year of 1949, rumors of treasures in Yunlin have been causing clamors, which keep attracting adventures in an endless stream. To be honest, they've contributed a lot to the economy of Yunlin. Clamors. Yeah. Rumors. <laughs> rumors. So there's a lot of text to read here. I'll read them at least a bit more, and we'll see how it goes. All right. Showed by a clear blue sky and surrounded by mountains, situated in the southeast of Qingku County, with a population of 2,000, Yunlin Village is built at the foot of the beautiful Yangfen Mountains, where the Jinjin Lake ripples. If one watches at the mountain tops, mountains shrouded in mist and clouds leap to his eyes. Lush ancient trees along the mountain paths block the sunlight. The village is said to have a history of more than a thousand years. The ancient worship of the crane god is practiced here. It's also praised as the town of longevity. To the natural conditions of Yunlin Village is superb. It has suffered a lot of man-made calamities in modern times. During the period between the late Ming Dynasty and the early Qing Dynasty, plagues erupted here, wiping out nearly ninety percent of the village population. Wow. During the Second Sino-Japanese War, the Imperial Japanese Army dispatched its 141st Kono Regiment to the village, conducting cruel experiments on living villagers. The war after their defeat, the Japanese soldiers destroyed most equipment and documents. Last year, the villagers discovered their weapons left behind. Besides, rumors said that after sacking Nanjing, the Japanese invaders transferred here a huge batch of jewels and gold, which was stored in the village vault. Later, they didn't have enough time to displace the treasures and just buried them in an artificial cave. Afterward, the departments concerned arranged a team of prospectors to seek them out, which finally ended in failure. So the Japanese hidden treasures were eventually branded as nonsense spread by blind villagers. I once thought I'd lost all my family, yet the letter ignited my hope. My friends have warned me the letter was just a clumsy hoax, but I will not let any chance slip away, even if it seems unlikely. So after twenty years, I once again set forth on a trip to my hometown. Dear Banghuad, my little brother, it's been years since the last time we met. How are you going now? I know the letter will surprise you and even make you suspicious. I totally understand your feelings because when I heard you were alive, I was excited too. I remember when the catastrophe arrived. We were playing chess and waiting for the return of our father. Suddenly, I found myself stuck in the mad crowds and was carried afar. Those desperate screams and ceaseless thunders have been in my nightmare for so many years until one day I saw you on TV. In fact, after I left Yunlin, I tried to find you and our parents via various approaches. I even returned to the village ruin once. All my attempts failed eventually. To see you on TV pleasantly surprised me. I should visit you myself. However, I'm currently occupied because my tutor and I are now attending a research project in Qinghu County. Is it convenient to come to Qinghu, my brother? I'm really missing you and looking forward to your reply. One of my recent photos is attached as the letter of proof of my identification. Smiling face. And that's all、where's, we have so far. Where's the? I see a picture of the letter. <laughs> yeah. I have been gypped. <laughs> so we have come back to this village called Yunlin,、uh, looking for our sister. And as you're going to see, fucked up shit went down here twenty years ago, and it's just been left in a ruin. We can't go through here without the flute, you see. We'll be back here later on, okay? Okay, I trust you. Maybe. Oh god. Yeah, that might be a problem for you. I just realised. It's not too bad. Take another picture. Mhm.、Mm And then when we take those pictures, basically they appear in our journal. So see, I was able to find this photo. It's worth a trip. Otherwise, I'm afraid that one day I'll forget the appearance of my parents and sister. Those good old days will never come back. And you can just say taken in 1980. You see? 
Mm. This photo is really ugly. I must find the time to change it. It's our uh, journalist press pass. All right, that's all that's in here. Let's start looking for our sister. We had that mysterious phone call from someone who was not our sister. We need a crowbar to get out of the house? Yeah, I'm not quite sure how we got in in the first place, I'm going to be honest with you, but, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah. Maybe we climbed in through, like, a window. And we're like, I don't want to climb out the window. Yeah. Clues have been updated. What does that mean? It's it is like, really... It's like a puppy going down steep stairs. Oh, my God. I don't know how they manage it, really. In the countryside in the 1980s, matches were the main ignition tool for the average family, and it was a wealthy symbol to have a lighter that could be lit at any time. Along with a kerosene lighter into the market, it's a small can of lighter fluid and storage volume is not much. It's estimated that for safety considerations, it's been deliberately designed. So is that explaining why we only have a limited amount of fuel? Yeah, although I never ran out when I was playing this. This building, incompatible with the whole village, was my home, which my father spent a great deal of money on. I remember my father moving out the village for reasons that seemed to have something to do with my sister. It's nice to be back, but unfortunately I haven't been able to find any clues about that night of my sister. The honey pill called Seven Herbs Elixir originated from an ancient prescription and was a very simple ingredient, but the effect is very miraculous. It's said to be a cure for all diseases. The elder of Yunlin village says it's a gift from the gods. And there we go. They're the items we picked up, I guess. So yeah, shit went down here. Um, there's a lot of bodies and shit. <laughs> that was my neighbour Keith. Oh my god. I will say, this game has some really cool monster designs as well. Like, oh, oh. This is suspiciously oh. fresh-looking jam for a 1980s. Oh no, they're losing all their product, bye-bye! They're <laughs> losing- oh no! How would they survive? I don't know. Can we take a picture of this? No. Oh, we did get some more clues from that way. It's a shit gun. Mm. I mean... It's not like 3D printing again. One thing I don't like is to, you have to skip through this every time. There is different chapters, so this resets at a certain point, but in each chapter you have to scroll through the whole thing to get to the new page. Mm, I remember my hometown is an infinitely beautiful village with a beautiful scenery and harmonious neighbours. It is also known far and wide as a home of longevity, in addition to the crane god worship handed down from a long time ago. It is not an exaggeration to say that it's a realistic dream wonderland. It is probably an exaggeration now. All right, we're going to do some breaking and entering, baby. Yes. Reach the village committee is our goal. Well, I think they mean so the town hall. So much gem. Yeah. But yeah, I think they mean the town hall by village committee. Oh, yeah. I did not know how many times what. I don't know. Oh, hi. Hello, Satan. The pattern on the left wall seems to be related to the array. I don't know why he's so calm about, first of all, these huge skeletons, but also the fact that there is a satanic symbol in here. We can't leave this room until we solve this puzzle. Fortunately, it is a fairly simple puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's not even like slightly sus. The candles are floating. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I can't actually remember what I need to do here, so uh, maybe it will take me a bit longer than I thought. So this is, the symbol on the wall is related to the puzzle. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to snuff the candles out in the correct order, I believe. There we go. Puzzle solved. Yeah. And we open the door. Isn't that amazing, baby? So amazing. Oh my god. So, you know, we worship the crane god here. Um, okay. Checks out. Yeah. Cranes are gonna be a pain. Still shockingly calm about all this. Have you seen this before, man? He's like, oh, just a crane. Just a crane from the crane what god. What is no our big name? Deal. Um, I can't remember. Bang? Bang, I think is our name, yeah. Yeah, have you seen this before, Bang? Is that why you're okay with floating candles and the cranes and everything else? He's very chill. Like, throughout the game, there's going to be some incredibly disturbing shit he'll see, and he'll be like, yeah, no big deal. 
那也能。Okay, so that was describing. Since since it wasn't in English,、um, we're gonna try to summarize the tapes we find. Was, I think it, that was talking about seeing the big bird people for the first time. Yeah, for the first time in the background. Yes, bye bye. And they thought they were wolves, but then the guy was like, "It can't be wolves. They have giant wings." Yes, that、There、is exactly、go. what happened. So they weren't normally around. Let's put it that way. These things, but suddenly they have shown up. According、yeah. to these notes, we apologize ahead of time. I know sometimes I know I do this. People in the back, you know, you, sometimes you just have it in the background, and then when it's a game like this, you can't really tell what's going on because there's no dub.、Um, and in the French one we did a while ago, not of this game, but there was a French game we played. We could wait for them to speak and then read it. But I think all of them is just going to be fully voice acted. Yeah. So we'll try to summarize conversations afterwards. I normally hate when Minx does that, but at least here it's justified. Yeah, that's fair. I remember this incident. All the villagers were very upset during that time, and everyone was afraid to go out of the house. My sister and I wanted to sneak to the lake fishing. My mother knew after a big temper. That was the first time I saw my mother so angry. The translation seems like hit. Sometimes it's fine, and other times it's a bit off. I think what they did is they didn't get a native English speaker to look over. Yeah, their translation. I, I'm not saying that this was necessarily machine translated, but if it wasn't,、um, the person they have doing uh, uh, it is not the strongest. In I will say I've replayed. I played this bit before, right?、Mm -hmm. Twice actually. I played this bit.、Um, they've improved the translation a lot from what it was. Yeah, I'm not saying they haven't. Yeah, yeah. Letter from brother. Dear brother, I hope this letter finds you well. Recently, there are more and more weird things in the factory. Almost every week, there are people missing, which makes the guys very nervous. If not for the upcoming day of the big ritual, the guys would have gone strike. Uncle Z said there may be packs of wolves in the mountains, but I think it's more like a ghost or a demon, which is evil and powerful. I heard the village chief and Yi will come over tomorrow, and I don't know if they can come with us. Come up with a solution. I'm scared every day and almost to be sick. It's a pity that little Lingzi is still too young, or else invite her to come over to do a puja. Maybe those ghosts and monsters will disappear. By the way, these days I don't know what's going on. There are a few teenagers always go and find Uncle Z. Not serious work, but always dull. You need to talk to them if you have free time. Okay then. Very jammy in here again, by the way. So jammy, oh my goodness. Oh my god, we got a crawl, baby. You ready? Are we gonna crawl? Hi. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh god! Oh my god! That texture popping. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I knew that was coming, so I was just waiting for your reaction. <laughs> Listen, I get scared very easily. <laughs> I mean, it made, the first time that the first time that that happened, it got me. Okay, I will say, it got me good the first time that happened. But but it was just like scared. Oh wait! Wow, that thing's face took a long time to load. <laughs> Okay, we need the iron gate to open this door. By the way, so we need to go and look for that first as our first main objective. I'm sorry for screaming in your ears. It's okay. They like it. They think it's cute. I don't think they think it's cute. All right. So, light. Are you out of fuel? Oh, probably. I have plenty with me. There we go. Nice call, Bubby. 好强，除了没有子弹外，简直完美。Oh, that's fucking useless. So here, right?、Mm -hmm. There is a closet that you can hide in. Okay.、Mm -hmm. 
However, I'm going to attempt to do this encounter here without needing to hide, okay? So wish me luck. Good luck, Bubba Numkin. You can die here in one hit. <laughs> Good luck. I'm scared, but good luck. Bubba Don't be a crane in the ass. Woohoo! <laughs> Got round him with the elixir. And that's it. That killed me so many times the first time I did. <laughs> wobbly wobbly wings. Yes. <gasps> Hi. Oh, he kept standing there instead of moving back. This is weird. Look look at this. He'll turn around. Uh-huh. So this is where it was. There's just a solid wall here now. Oh. I don't really understand if that's meant to be like a supernatural thing or what, but it's so weird. I would assume supernatural. These guys were playing Mahjong. Reaction of me playing Mahjong in Yakuza for like 10 <laughs> hours. <laughs> trying to get a fucking trophy. Is there one on the floor? Yeah, yeah it's that's just me. Like, I couldn't. My brain exploded. <laughs> I couldn't take it. Like, I, I can play Mahjong pretty well now, only because of playing Japanese Mahjong a lot. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with Chinese Mahjong. They're a bit different. Mm. But um, I find that funny. Because <laughs> it is a slog sometimes, that game. <laughs> I gotta admit, I don't necessarily understand it. Apparently, there are a lot of different rule sets. There are. Maybe that's why I'm confused. Okay, we have a locked box here and a music box. Oh my god, is it gonna play music? Five, seven, three. Five, seven, three, seven. Five, seven, three, seven, one. Very easy. Even though uh, this is so low res that I don't know why. Yeah, that is a little bit weird. Five, seven, three, seven, one. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Yeah. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, this shouldn't be this low res. I, this, never this. There we go. It was on zero. That's why. <laughs> I don't know why that was so low res. It's never been that low res before. What the fuck? Well, that was an easy enough puzzle anyway. If yeah. I don't. Alright, let's look at some of our notes for a little bit. So there's different types of notes as well, which makes it more confusing. Alright. So here's the music box. Hide the password in a slip. We used to do this when we were young. And it says, it, it writes it down for you, which is nice. According to the contents of the diary, it's recorded should be one of the sister's childhood playmates, but I can't remember. Adults are saying the village is not safe for now, and the school also gives us vacations. I was happy and made an appointment with Brother D to fish around the lake. Sister Ling's roast fish is the best. However, my father forbids me to go out, and my mother refuses to convince him and locks the door up. I'll keep hiding the door key until they allow me to play outside. Father can't imagine that I encoded the password into a doggerel. I won't forget. How smart am I? This is going to come back to bite us in the ass, by the way. I'll show you what a doggerel is in a bit, but it sucks. I can tell you that now. Oh, no. <laughs> It looks like Yunlin's former evil doer statue, but it's given deformed life. The strange beast almost killed me, but it also convinced me the cloud forest must be hiding some secret I never understood. It has something to do with the answer I'm seeking. I, okay. mean, I mean, I'd certainly fucking hope so. Yeah, these, I am certainly hope that giant crane monsters were not the norm <laughs> when you were a kid living in this village. But maybe they were. Maybe they were. Maybe that's why you, well, no, you left because of some sort of catastrophe, but still. Yeah, I mean, judging by all the bodies everywhere, a lot of people didn't get to leave because of the catastrophe. <laughs> I will say, I do, I think the aesthetic of this game is pretty good. Like, sometimes it feels like things are a bit, like, strewn together, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Like, I'm trying to, figure out this, like, the houses are a little bit higgledy-piggledy. I don't know if that's, like, how it would have been, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, in a Japanese rural village, because I've never been to one. Well, is this Chinese? Chinese, sorry, not Japanese. But, um... I don't know if that would have been how it would have been in a Chinese village. It might be the case. I do think the I do think it's cool, though, that there's so, there is quite a lot of details, you know what I mean? You can see these people were living, and then it just went to shit. Mm-hmm. 
which is good. We, ran, we already used one black elixir. Don't need to use them very often, but we need to use them here. All right, we're back at where we were now, I think. Or at least getting close to it. Long yes. We have the iron key, because it was in the box. And now we can open this door to go further in. Do we have stamina? We do. <laughs> Although, unless, if you, oh, pop, hi. If you pop a black elixir, you don't. Okay, so we've got a stealth section here. A pretty shit one. Oh, no. I've done it quite a few times, though, so I think I'm going to be all right. Also, these things are idiots as well. I will say that. <laughs> Fortunately, in this instance, these enemies are idiots. We have a lot of exploring to do here, though. Okay. <laughs> I just hear Zoidberg. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, can't come up here, so we'll check out this room first. This lovely room. This is the village committee house. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Look at all them doll hands. <laughs> and all that jam. All that wasted product, you mean, Billy? Yeah. Okay, so we need I'm to bring... I'm very impressed by that one doll's uh, shirt that has managed to stay upright. It's very impressive. They must use a lot of starch. We need the drum, the righteous bone, and the skull bowl of youth. Okay. And to bring them here, let's head into this tape. Okay, to summarize, the obviously once the incident happened, uh, we are the only survivor that was recorded, although it seems that our sister may well have survived as well. Unknown. Okay. How do I get out of this? It said that the majority died and the rest of them uh, decided to unexist themselves. Yes. Um, uh, and then we were the only one recorded. So I think it's us that our sister it, it is, is alive. It is. We'll find a lot of case. logs like this, by the way, of like because they sent in the military afterwards to clean up. And that and was a it that did was a sound like note. a military. Yeah, note. it is. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. like the communist party sent in a, like a bunch of like a bunch of troops. Mm -hmm. You'll find much more reports later on in that vein. We have a map of the village, and there's a house that is circled. I know where that house is, so we're all good on that front. Creepy doll. All right, so we need to bring the three items back here anyway is our objective. Let's go looking for them. This should... Ba -ba -ba -ba! Yay! And we got the, uh, the bone flute, which is one of the most important items in the game, as you will find out. Do you like flutes, Bubby? Um, they're okay. Seven out of ten? Yeah. All right, we'll look at the two clues we picked up before we continue. The pop-in is really bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's surprisingly so. Um, to be honest, the painter is average, but it's barely passable to the map, which reminds me of the treasure map game I played as a kid, wondering what the reward would be. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, this is the truth about the disappearances of the villagers of Yunlin. The mere sight of these words make me vomit. These beasts should really go to hell. List of rituals. Make five mana with feces, urine, bone marrow, male essence, and female oh, blood. Oh, well... Okay. Make five meat from dog, ox, horse, elephant, and man. Use menstrual blood or virgin blood as red body. White body with male essence. 
the fat in the meat, the pulp in the body, and the middle of the menage of the head, of the three lower, middle, and upper class, a lamp of wisdom made of human oil, with a wick twisted out of hair, 21 lamps, bread made of black flour, human bile, brain, blood, and viscera for tribute. The skull bowl of the youth, the skin drum of the girl, and the arm bone of the righteous believer are used as the three instruments. The above offerings must not be missed and must be prepared for use before the 25th day of sacrifice. Well then. This is the last written to instruments. Be sure to put it away for backup or find a place to hide it. To be safe, don't write the password of the mechanism box on paper. Just remember to make the numbers in each row, column, and oblique row equal after adding. Okay, so they changed this to make it easier. Mm. But I cheated anyway. <laughs> Don't don't expect me to ever do math in your video game. <laughs> All right, we got to keep moving here now. Give me one sec. It's gonna be more birds though. You see that one there? No, oh, my goodness. Oh, this Look could be at bad. him running around. He's trying his best, you know. Yeah. He's trying so hard. Trying so hard, oh my goodness. What an adorable little numpkin. I mean, it's cute from far away. <laughs> up close, I don't want it anywhere near me. <laughs> yeah, up close, you might numb your bum. Which would not be numb, let's be real. Yeah, it really would not be numb. Okay, so we have something here under this coffin, but also we have one of the key items, the human skin drum. That we need for the ritual, isn't that lovely? So no. Everyone loves a good old-fashioned human skin drum. How's it going, guys? What are you guys up to, huh? Let's talk to this lovely man here. Okay, so before this was not translated, let's see if it is. Nope. <laughs> Okay, I will tell you what he says, by the way, all right? Well, he's doing that, obviously. Thank you, Mr. Doll, for giving me your arm. Okay, so he gives us mysterious limb here. Lovely. Uh, he also says he'll give us something else if we give him the pomp and circumstance candle. This guy is the village elder, and we're, like, shocked that he's still alive. And he's like, I'm not alive, I'm just stuck in this cursed sort of situation. How do you know all Because that? I watched a video with someone else translating it for me. Oh... <laughs> But yeah, that's the general gist. That's the, one of the only things that isn't translated, but it's weird that it isn't. All right, we have this. Okay, so this is the picture we took here of this. This is important, okay? Mm-hmm. But for now, don't worry about it too much, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. That's okay, little numpkin. I love you. All right. Seems to be a Gonshi notation written on the wall in chalk. What would write the mu who would write the music score here? Was it some kind of message for my sister? If I can collect more, I should be able to figure out the meaning of these score notes. The second note, the third note, the fifth note, the fourth note, and the first note. So I don't know if we can actually play the flute here. Usually it gives you a prompt, so I don't think we can. You know what I mean? Usually it'll be like, okay, we press a button and the flute will come up. So probably at the moment that isn't that important. But it might be later on, Numkin, okay? Yep, might be. We need to get into this building is our main objective at the moment, but we can't do that without the key. And to get the key, we need to give the pomp and circumstance candle to that guy. Okay, then. However, we have found some tinks, some stuff and tinks. And tinks he gave and us stuff. He gave, yeah, exactly. And he gave us a delicious arm. I'm going to be real. I can't remember fully what to do now, but I've got an idea what we're going to try. And if it's a disaster, well, we know better for next time. Right, Bubba Numkin? Yeah. Go away, man. Go away! You're not my friend. He's not my friend, Bobby. Bobby, he's not my friend. Oh, no. Oh, this might have been a really bad move by me. 
Ha <laughs> ha! Got outsmarted. Outsmarted the bird. Although, this is the dead end, so it wasn't really that exciting. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think you celebrated too soon, sweetie. That's right, you go away. Oh, fuck. Leave me alone. <laughs> Can't come into house, can you, bumpkin? Baby, it thinks it's so good. I don't know what this is. Oh, hang on. I remember. Okay, so it's a bit unusual for there to be a coffin in the village, I guess. Because of burial cost burial uh customs, is that the right term? Um I guess. Burial custard? No. This definitely feels like we shouldn't be here on this part of the map. <laughs> anyway, let's let the birdman go. We're gonna go back to the building where the ritual was taking place. Okay. And see what bits we have, because I can't remember what bits we found and which bits we didn't. <clears throat> okay, I take back what I said. They're idiots. Complete idiots. <laughs> I'm running so fast like the speed of sound. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have that, whatever the fuck that was. We have that. And there we go, we did it! Yay! I wasn't even aware we found everything. Now what? Oh, we got the candle. Excellent. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't as scary as the other thing. No, that was pretty funny. <laughs> she was like, ah! All right, now we deliver the candle to the client. You mean the skeleton? No, I guess he is the client, I suppose. Money I suppose, doll. you know, we can't be rude about him being dead. He's not dead, he's a doll. Sorry, you're right. Dead doll. <laughs> dead? <laughs> what the fuck? It's okay, don't worry about it. We gotta keep, we gotta keep the algorithm happy. Oh, it's after me. <laughs> we might die here. Be great if you didn't die. I'm gonna pop in the house, because that seems to throw them off. Yeah, there we go. At least you can tell when they're after you, because it has the music. Alright, that was pretty easy. These guys were having a great bonfire party, weren't they? Holy shit. Yeah. Alright, sir, I found you the doll. This might not be translated either, I can't remember. But here's your candle, sir. <laughs> well, I guess he really liked his candle, huh? Yeah, he really enjoyed it. He's just gonna have a little nap now. He, what a nonkin. I'm not in control yet, by the way. I'm looking at it sadly. Please don't have crashed. Oh no, there we go. Wait, so he's not the village chief? I, I think, from what I understand, he gets possessed there, I think, but I'm not sure. I don't really know. I'm going to be honest with you. This is what I, I'm just repeating stuff that other people said to me. No, I was just, I was just commenting on the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I guess, was our dad the village chief? Are we, is Bang our last name? I think I, so. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's it's a little bit hard to follow. Yeah. Just, tr just trust that we needed to get into this building and now we have. Okay? okay. That is the extent of the knowledge needed. We haven't found our sister yet. And that is our main goal. Okay, stop pushing. Okay, I will... <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here, by the way. There was some funny shit that happened last time I was in this building. 
I don't know if it's been fixed or not, but we'll see. All right, let's look at our journal before we continue, okay? Okay. I do like this. It's 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 kind of janky. It's kind of not all there, you know what I mean? But I do like it. Like, it's not terrible or anything. I do like that note just says, low shoe in caps. I think we got another note about this building. Or maybe not. I guess we didn't get any. Now we did. Xiaomu. Xiaomu. Gaichi 快去呀. Just for the record, this is really bad. <laughs> as, oh, yeah. as we're about to discover. Oh dear. Oh, that was us. Um... To explain what just happened, I don't know if I can. Um, <laughs> there was someone doing a ritual, uh, asking something to come and fetch us and bring it to them. Okay? Okay. 64231 is a code, which we just took a picture of. A lot of notes here. <laughs> I like that. I still don't understand it. But there's going to be a lot of panicked running from me shortly, let's put it that way. <laughs> okay. No axe, we need an axe to break open that, okay? Mm-hmm. And we're gonna- we have got a lot of clues we just picked up, so let's go through them before anything else happens, okay? Mm. They are- the game only auto-saves, by the way. But they are pretty lenient, the auto-saves. Okay. The woman said there should be something I needed. Could it be a clue from my sister? But I always feel uneasy, maybe I should be more careful. The finance room has been equipped with a new lock. Pos password on the office blackboard. Remember to change it as soon as possible. The conference room is being redecorated. No entry. Due to the collapse of the floor inside the warehouse, the suspended ceiling of the village head's office is seriously damaged, which needs to be temporarily closed and non-maintenance personnel are forbidden to enter. The warehouse is not open during the maintenance period. Please contact the warehouse manager for any needs. The box for storing the spare valve in the warehouse can't be opened because the lock is rusty. Find something to smash it. I remember the new fire apparatus is equipped in this reception room. It should be useful. So we need to get in the finance room, get into the reception room, get the axe, smash this open to get the valve, and use the valve to get into the warehouse, okay? Mm -hmm. The patient complained of right hip pain with no obvious cause one month ago. With limited movement, unable to walk or stand for a long time. It was relieved by rest. The peripheral blood flow, sensation, and activity of the lower limbs were normal. Auxiliary examination, normal blood count, hemoglobin, rheumatism, C-reactive protein, normal liver and kidney function, normal serum... This is just a list of blood test shit. <laughs> they were normal levels. Osteophytes at the edge of the joint, irregular linear high-density shadow in the right femoral neck, and part of the disorganized structure of the femoral head, and separation of the anterior edge of the great trochanter, small bone fragments. A concealed fracture of the right femoral neck with surrounding muscle edema was considered. Based on the medical history, family history of hereditary disease, bone density test results and x-ray film, combined with physical examination, we found the sclera was dark blue, the teeth were sparse, grayish yellow, and the incisors were thin, with defects in the cutting edge, hearing loss. The clinical diagnosis was osteogenesis imperfecta. Okay, so the thing you're meant to take away from this, right, mm -hmm. is people are turning into those crane things gradually. Oh. Okay. From government experiment or? I don't know. 64231 is the code. Um, inspection report from guard detachment. Since the age of three to seven years, a child suffered eight times of upper of middle femoral shaft fractures without obvious external force. 
The parents were non-consanguineous and had a natural birth at term. The mother had blue slayer, medium height, and a history of multiple fragility fractures. His father was healthy, had no history of fracture, and was taller than his age. Physical examination showed his height was 112.8 centimeters and weight 17.2 kilograms. Blue sclera, dysendentinogosis, no scoliosis, no hearing loss in both ears. The right lower limb was curved and deformed. Routine blood test, erythrocyte, sedimentation rate, liver and kidney function were normal. The radiograph showed multiple fractures of the right femur, which was suspected as osteogenesis. So dating back to the 40s, there was weird sort of mutations going on in this village. Mm. Okay. That's what you take from those notes, okay? Okay. Uh, we're probably going to die here a few times, by the way. I need to remember 64231. Because I'm going to be doing that under pressure, okay? Um, I can write it down. Hold on. 64231? Yes. Oh, it's right here. I, I guess I won't be doing that under pressure. I thought it would be, but... Well, I mean, there's pressure because the fucking texture is horrible. Can you even see this? Kind of. Okay, we're going here. Please close. Why can't I close the door? <laughs> I want to close the door. You don't understand how serious it is that I want to close this door. No, no closing for you. It's going to be something in our face, surely. I don't think so, but it's going to be bum, I tell you that. Although, okay. So last time I did this, the AI broke, and the enemy just stood in one place, and I was able to do everything. Oh, hello, I see you. That isn't what I'm worried about, by the way. That's a dead one, I think. You'll see what I'm worried about. Because it'll be on us, like a fucking train in a second, if it, the AI is fixed. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely scared, by the way, because I know what's coming. Hello? We need an axe. That's in the reception room. There it is. Hello. Surely when I pick this up, this is going to be it. Yeah, here we go. got heads on its uh, shoulders, as you see there. I'm just going to hoof it. Okay. You're not really succeeding at hoofing it. Oh, maybe you are. We need to open the safe up here. Are you ready for a really intense thing, by the way? Oh, God. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Smash, 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 smash. Super smash. Why are you taking your sweet ass time? No rush or anything, dude, but we are gonna die if you don't fucking move. Take the fucking valve, take the valve. Hi. Hello. Watch this, okay? This, this is it. Okay. I'm watching. Or well, trying to. Okay, so this is like a puzzle. We have to keep barricading the door constantly, okay? To listen, okay. Oh, I, oh my god, that shouldn't have happened. I, I didn't mean to press the thing again that killed me. I had that happen a bunch of times last time I did this. So what you have to do is replace the boards every time they break. Mm -hmm. But if you accidentally press E on the wrong thing, you'll die. Because you're not oh. meant to touch the valve again once it breaks. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, I think the save is literally just there. Yeah. Yay! You know what I'm going to do? What? Pick up these boards in advance, so I won't accidentally pick them up again. Oh my god, it did it again! It did it again! I'm pressing E too much! <laughs> no, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh my god, baby. We did it! Get fucked! Baby, we won. Yay, we won. 
Just go down the hole, please. <laughs> I was gonna say, we need to go down this hole. Take the bone flute. Oh, this is the flute we needed, actually, not the other one. Okay, so to play the bone flute, you press F and then you press the keys, okay? Mm -hmm. Think of it like this game's fatal frame camera, okay? It's really important for a bunch of stuff. Well, I would think if it was more like Zelda if it's a flute. That's true, actually, you're right. So, see here? You need to memorize the order. So it's five and every time it vanishes, which is really annoying. So five, four, two, one. There we go. Yay! It's our sister. Looking that very suspicious. Was definitely a ghost. Very suspicious, right, Bubba? How do you not realize it's a ghost? Because he's an idiot. I'm gonna catch up with you, sis. I mean, oh my god, it's blue. Okay, was your sister blue? I mean, she might have been after she died, but still. It's Hello? a weird place for a phone. It is. What? Should I summarize? Yes. Um, the girl on the phone wants, says she'll give us information about our sister, but only on condition that we uh, find her a Japanese artifact that was left here. Okay. Right, he just said this is a shortcut back to my house. We're back at our house from the beginning now. Okay. But it was untranslated. It was untranslated, but that's what he just said. But yeah, the lady wants us to find a um, uh, artifact for her uh, in exchange for information about our sister. And she says, meet me at the factory district of town. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just gonna take a big bunch of pictures here, and we're gonna play our flute on. This is our dad's office, by the way, that we're in right now. So it's gonna be. Oh my god, this is really annoying. Two, four, no, two, three, five. Two, three, five, four, one. Okay. Totally normal. Um... Quickly, follow that stock unity asset. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> there's a picture of our sister, by the way. But we'll look at it in our journal in a minute. Okay, I'm just looking to see if there's any more notes in here. Mm -hmm. This is a very drug-filled subway. Listen, sometimes you just... <laughs> Gotta do drugs on the subway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that, baby? What did we see? I don't know. I mean, I have absolutely no fucking idea either, to be honest with you. Very quick before we look through the other stuff. Um, did we look at this before? Really banged up box, biscuits. It's a biscuit it tin. It's a golden camel biscuits. Oh, fun. 
Yeah, we got this as here as well. This is this is, we're upstairs in our home where we started. So one, three, three, five. You do have to do this under pressure later on, by the way. Which is great. Forget how important sewing machines would have been for a long time. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Oh, God, I hate going through all these. I remember these two people there. They were a what, wife and daughter of the village chief. It said that many years ago they died of illness. No wonder I did not react to it. Oh no, these are the people that died. Oh the pe oh my god. So the people who had the weird like changes to their bodies were the village chief's wife and daughter, and they died. Oh. Although I've been prepared for this all the way, I really did not expect the person hiding behind the scenes would be kind of friendly for this chief, as well as my father, who's also been helping the evil. Why? Zhang Mao Bang, this is a last warning to you. Stop thinking about my daughter. I don't care about the contradiction between Sankara, the Crane God, or your great cause, or pure land. All I care about is my family. Think about who you're relying on to get your church to this point. Also, keep your crazy dogs in check. If the police and military come, I'm not going to die with you. Okay, so our dad knew that the village chief was working like with this Crane God cult, okay? Mm -hmm. And he was even helping them, but he wasn't part of the cult. He was enabling them. Oh. Okay. Father presided over the construction of underground protection works, which should be used as a cover for the activities of those cultists. No wonder they were not caught by villagers. In order to strengthen the construction management of mass movement projects, standardise the construction activities of Yunlin village protection projects, and ensure the combat readiness benefits, social benefits, and economic benefits of all projects, this document is issued in accordance with the relevant laws and regulations. In response to the call of the state, Yunlin village committee decided to build civil air defence project. The civil air defence works mentioned in the document refers to the underground protected buildings built separately to ensure the shelter of personnel and materials, air defence command and medical care in wartime, and the basements built in combination with ground buildings that can be used for air defence, herein referred to as air defence basements. Yunlin Civil Air Defence Project plans to build a wartime nuclear grade 5, general grade 5, class A, second class personnel shelter and combine with the ground building to build an air defence basement. The ground building is the village committee building, the first protection unit is connected with second protection unit 112 Main Road, and a total length of 2,100 metres and a total construction area of 7,300 square metres. Several connection ports, entrances and vents are reserved along the way. According to construction scale of the project, the overall project will be divided into three phases to complete. It is expected the construction period of the first this phase will be eight months. This is from February 1st, 1980 to the end of October 1980. So they built this, right, to hide the fact that they were running a cult mm -hmm. and under the pretense of like, oh, what if we get bombed by the Japanese or whatever, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, and the, air, the shelter connects to the village committee head where the chief was mm -hmm. and our place because mm -hmm. we came up the well from it. Mm. So we were got, we, we, he was getting an extra benefit from it, you know, of like his own privacy, mm -hmm. and like a secret room. Father's Diary 3. I didn't sleep well last night. It always felt like someone had entered my home, but I searched every corner of the house and found nothing unusual. Probably because I've been under too much pressure recently. Bon. This bastard is unrepentant. He has several men watching our house day and night to protect me. Does he take me for an idiot? I warned him sternly again and even prepared for confrontation, but perhaps I had signalled my intention to call the police. This time he gave me a serious assurance and asked me to come to the plant tomorrow to reassure the workers. That's an acceptable outcome for me, but in any case, the decision to send the two children away from Yunlin will not change and they deserve a more comfortable upbringing. So he was sending us away because of all the shit. There was tension between him and the village chief, I guess? Mm. The three uncles came again today. I've forgotten how many times this month, saying the same thing is the same old. They want Zhao Ling to preside over the upcoming Crane God Dance Festival. I naturally refused them again because Zhao Ling's safety was more important to me than the sacrifice. Bang Zhang Mao and his heavenly secret sect have always been explicably hostile to Yunlin and recently have become more unscrupulous. Zhao Ling, because of the name of the Crane Sun, had been closely watched by them long ago. At this time, if she appeared on a big sacrifice as a spokesperson of the Crane God Belief, it was difficult to say whether she would stimulate the crazy people. Speaking of it, I'm really tired of the feudal superstition of Yunlin. What age is it that I still believe in these strange and chaotic things? If it were not for the gold, I would not stay here another day. So it looks like the reason he sent our, us away is mm -hmm. they wanted our sister to head up the ritual because her name means something to the Crane God. Okay. And that's why we were sent away. 
But I don't think we actually got sent away. I think things went to shit before we got sent away. Yeah. The believers of Sky Vajarana are getting crazier. The large number of missing employees in the factory has made the whole Yunlin village depressing. Zhang Ma Bang gave the villagers the explanation that man-eating beasts had appeared in the mountains and would organise young adults to go into the mountains to hunt wolves after the crane dance ritual. In fact, those who disappeared were all dedicated by him as sacrifices to the Sangha worshipped by the Sky... whatever. I once thought this small cult existed only for power and desire, but now I realise they're simply a group of antisocial fanatics. I regretted more than once that I'd gotten involved with this group. Especially when Zhang Mo Bang preached the dogma I saw, the disgusting leftover scrap meals hanging from the corner of his mouth. I was thinking of leaving ground for retreat, at least to keep my children safe. Maybe it was a good idea to let Jing take them abroad. So summarise one more final time, okay? Because mm -hmm. I think this is quite complicated. Our father worked with the village chief because he was like, I have this religion and it's like, I wanted to keep it underground. And he was like, oh, sure, no problem. But then the religion started escalating in power because of our father's help. And the village chief started sacrificing people and saying wolf attacks were to blame for the sacrifices. And all this weird shit starts happening with the crane sightings and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And our dad freaks out and he's like, I'm going to try and distance myself from this cult. But it was very difficult for him to do that because he was already quite involved with funding it and protecting it. Mm hmm. And he was worried about us, so he started making plans to send us away, but then the catastrophe happens, whatever that was, and everyone fucking dies. Except mm. me. Mm. Though her appearance changed a lot she grew up, I was sure it was my sister as soon as I saw the picture, because of not only the facial similarity, but also the mental bonds among family members. Okay, so that's our sister. And that's it. Okay. Very quickly, we're going to head down here. Just launch ourselves down the well. Oh my god. So numb, Bubby. She isn't going to be backfiring at all. And now we have the key to access the area the cult we're using to get into the factory district. Let's go. New area to explore. We're heading towards the factory and the mines. I saw a bird there, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, we got another black elixir as well. I cannot... Have we got a We have a lighter, right? I was like, why can't I see? There we go, that's much better. <laughs> it's been a while. It's, actually, it's, it's been like a day, and I've already forgotten how to play the game. Hello, Birdman. No. Baby, time to go away. No, it's just doing his thing, don't worry about it. He isn't really just doing his thing, though, is he? Oh, we got another, another phone call? Well, that was insightful. That is just a dusty phone. I thought it was like, I thought the chick was going to call us, you know what I mean? The one who's been like, hee 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 I know, I'm just explaining. <laughs> this could be bad, I don't know how to get around. Oh god, that's a piggy. A dead piggy. Oh, got around him. To be fair, they, these haven't been much of a threat thus far, I will say that. And they're fairly easy to outrun and dodge. Alright. We got a factory to explore, Bubby. So no. I keep thinking when it's saving that it's putting a journal entry in, but that's not true. I get them confused though. Oh, well, it does say data entry in progress. Yeah. Look at the poor Moo Moo. Don't worry about it. It's just taking a nap. Oh, there's a lot of factory stuff over there. They, I feel like they Naruto run. Kind of. I know it's their wings, but it does look a bit Naruto runny. <laughs> Don't worry. Do you need to take a picture? It yeah. just did, yeah. It just, take, it just takes a long time sometimes. So I think right now... Yeah, so there's a new chapter, so these are right away. Frankly, I can't understand how Bang Zheng Mao achieved these. Some people just passed by a dim corner, then disappeared from numerous eyes. Uh, this is like the people going missing. Bang Yume, a 17-year-old female. There's a lot of people called Bang in this village. That Round must be the last name. Yeah. Round face and black ponytail with fair skin is a young and local who works for a chemical plant as a gauger. Dressed in a dark blue working uniform, she went missing at 8pm after having left home. So these are people being abducted by the cult for sacrifices. See another one. 27-year-old male, slightly fat, square face with a crew cut and a scar on his forehead is a young and local who works for a chemical plant. Yeah, so the workers at the plants were the prime people, apparently, to be targeted. Mm. Well, someone's calling me, but first of all, let's go this way. Uh, we need a key for the big door here. Fortunately, we can squeeze, Bubby. You ready to squeeze? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> I will say, I don't know that monsters in this are stock assets. I think they are, but they're quite unique ones that I haven't seen before, if they are. But I can't tell, you know, then they might not be. Alright, flute. How the fuck do I do the flute again? I can't remember. I just wasted a fucking fast movement thing. It's F. Alright, so we got... Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid that it vanishes. Two... One... Two... One... Four... Five. Thank fuck for that. Where? Okay. They need better lines here in this abandoned village, I'm going to be honest with you. So, to summarize, that was the person telling us that they still won't tell us where our sister is. Um, or she's we in have prison. to go find... Well... Can't... Go on, summarize, sorry. <sighs> go on! We need to get a black mask. Okay. I will summarize again very quickly, okay? <laughs> Basically, what just happened is, we answered the phone, and they said, uh, are you at the factory? And we were like, yeah, we're at the factory, where's my sister? And like, well, she actually isn't here, what is here is the key that you need to unlock her prison cell where she's being held. It's not a prison that she's for prisoning though, it's presumably used for sacrifices, so we need to go and find her. Uh, we need to go, sorry, and find a black mask though, before they tell us where the prison is where she's being held. We now have the key, but we need the black mask. There you go. What is this? Numkin? Why are you asking me? I don't know! Maybe you have some insight! This man's having a shower, a jam shower! He's like, oh, I love the feeling of warm jam. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I think, I think we'll... I think we'll leave them to their meal, right? Yep. I like the way it took me a few tries to squeeze through there. There, did you see that? It was like, shall I go? Mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's a difficult, it's a difficult decision to reach. All right, let's look at the notes we found because we found a lot of notes in that last room. One of the fifty-six key projects, the Yunlin Chemical Plant, is a large factory established during the first five-year plan. Until 1975, 640 people worked in the plant, and they were all local villagers, with 45% of them being females. The plant specializes in synthetic ammonia, and its highest annual output has exceeded 10,000 metric tons. I don't think we're too interested in this, it's just like, the history of the power plant. I will say that the five-year plan um, was one of China's like schemes to industrialize the countryside. I know that, like, historically. And later on, they had other ones later on. I'm trying to- th I'm talking- okay, I looked at Chrism there, because I was educating her, and she's like, no! Look at your microphone and tell them as well. And she's right, but still. Poems and classic. The sacrificial steel for the almighty lady of the swamp. South, west, east, and north. This is actually important, so we need to remember this order. South, west, east, north. Could you screenshot that for me, little numpkin? No, but I can write it down. That too. We need it for a puzzle, you see. 
A sacrificial steel, is this the one beneath the holy tree? The contents marked in red should be the playing sequence. Interestingly, why did someone hide it here? I should give it a try as I see it later. Agile, swift, and lethal, gathered in throngs. These small monsters with sharp fangs are more fearsome than any predators I've ever known. How do you know this? You've seen them once! Are these common? Are these just like a feature of the Chinese countryside? Fortunately, their senses are extremely limited as they seem to rely on only smell. It's not difficult to elude them if one can stay away from their disgusting goo. Hmm. They were snuffle and I thought it was kind of cute, like a puppier, you know? This, they're pretty terrifying though. You were giggling a little when you saw them. A tiny bit? A bubba bit, bubba? Don't worry about it. Alright. So, this is the pillar, right? We need to play... Uh, each side of it in the order of the poem, but first we need to uh, uh, turn on all the lanterns in the area, I believe. The eight lanterns have been set alight and the manners have thus arrived. Voice from heaven become power and drives away the evil. That was not translated very well at all, but we need to turn on the eight lanterns. Some of them are already on, but we need to find and locate the others around here, which is not too difficult from what I recall. The problem I had was telling which way was north, south, east and west last time I did this. No. That's basically, a me problem. Basically, I'm incompetent is what I'm saying. No, I'm kidding. But you knew that already. Alright, we're getting the lanterns done, baby, no, i Are you? I mean, I'm trying to, yes. Oh. Oh dear. Look at all those dolls. Hanging from the tree. Having a wonderful time. Yeah. Okay, so there's eight lanterns total. There's one, two, three. Okay. Mm. We've got to find them all. Four. Five. I don't know where the others are, but hopefully we'll find them. Here's six. Two more. They could already be lit in somewhere else, though. It's hard to gauge. I don't know if that's the same one or not, but they all look the same. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you like, oh, no. Do you like my hyperventilation, dear? Was it, was it numb? Was it cute? I mean, you are very numb. I don't think I'm that numb. You are? I just wish you were a little bit more attentive sometimes. Okay. So what was the order on that thing, by the way? South, west, east, north. Okay, so I think, I'm gonna assume this is south, because the river's to the north. South. Let's just try playing it without it, without them. So that would be, this would be south, this would be west, this would be east, and this would be north, if that's right. It could be wrong, but I'm gonna give it a try, all right? All right, so it's gonna be five, two, four, five, Three. Okay. Okay. Then it was west, yeah? Mm. Alright, so it's one... I can't see. One... Oh, I can't see. One, one... Four, four... Three. By the way, later on we have to do this while being chased. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's east, yeah? Yes. So, four, one, four, two, five. Okay. And then finally, if this works, it seems to be working, it's going to be three, two, three, four, two. You ready, baby? Mm -hmm. It actually worked first time! We did it! Yeah. I'm actually genuinely fucking surprised about that, I'm gonna be honest with you, considering how long that took me the first time I did it, but hooray! Oh my god, baby, I'm so smart! And we photographed a doll. Oh, look, you circled an area, baby. I know what that is, so it's fine. We're gonna go there now, okay? Okay. We're gonna go for a lovely riverside stroll. Do you like riverside strolls, baby? Yeah, they're okay. 
They're only okay. There is a crane man around here I need to be careful of. I'm not entirely sure where he is right now. He has quite a long patrol. There he is. How am I going to... Okay, I need to follow him. That's right, keep going. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here at all. Right, puppy? Yeah, that's right. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Then we wait for him to go past. Should probably keep... I keep forgetting I have a lighter, Bubby. I'm sorry. I mean, it's limited fuel, so I don't blame you for not using it more. I mean, we have like eight f refills at the moment. Okay, we go over this every time. <laughs> not every time. Okay, every time. <laughs> Alright, this is what was marked on the map. You want to try to summarize? I mean, I barely understood what just happened in that in that one, I'm going to be honest with you. They were attacked by a life form and they tried to do a lot of military speak that did not translate well. Um, as far as I can tell. Uh, there's a device perhaps we need at one of their camps, but I, I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, yeah, that was about it, really. Mm. Is that what you took from it as well, or...? Kinda. I, I kinda also thought there might have been a report that is... In triplicate? That makes sense. I don't know what space traps are. I was very confused by that, I, I will say. I <laughs> gotta admit, I don't know either. Oh, look at the pretty lantern. Oh, the lighter did just run out of fuel. There you go. First time. Well, second time, right? I think. Anyway. The code for the door is here. 137. What was that? I think the bird came after me, but then teleported back. It was like inside me for a second. That was very weird. One three seven four nine, I think, is the door code. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. There's a book with the number three on it in the foreground. So it's one three seven three four nine. There we go. The door is open, Baby Numkin. Although I gotta say, developer is not a great uh, thing to trap us in that one screen. No. Once you start using the door, you can't go back and look at the window. You're just stuck in the screen. There's no way out. So I hope you remembered it, because we didn't. That was very much the cult, I suspect, there, right? Uh, just talking about cult how they things. can ascend. Try to do a little bit of a better job explaining, Bubba. Jeez. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> they can ascend to, to, to where do you think they ascend to? Um, Jamland. Jamland? That just looks like Cthulhu. It does a bit, doesn't it? I think it's meant to be a crane, but... Hopefully it doesn't come alive. Oh, there's oh, there's one there though. Holy shit! I did not see that until it was jumping out the bush. Yeah. Try to be careful. Yeah. I'll try. Oh, 
Okay. They're not very perceptive, are they? Let's be 100% real here. And that's back across the river where we were? Yeah. Yes. You need to come any further? Okay. Okay. No. No! No! Turn around! Go back! Oh. Oh, he still don't see us. He is a absolute fucking idiot. I mean, it's our benefit that it is. That is true. If he was a jamkin, we'd be dead. Yeah. We play a lot of games with jamkins. Fortunately, the cranes in this game, they are not, they are not jamkins. Yes. They're probably delicious when spread on toast. But still, not jamkins. We need to find a tool to destroy this iron chain here to proceed up there. I know where it is. Um, but we're getting near the point where I rage quit this originally. Oh no. <laughs> that was a very delayed picture there. We'll read these before we go into that room over there, but I just want to have a quick look around, okay? There is a lot of lighter oil, I will give them that. Oh, hi! Are you al I don't think you're alive. Okay, good. For a minute, I thought it's you were going to get up. It's just a doll. I am sorry, baby. It's very easy to mistake dolls for other things. I know, but you gotta make the YouTube algorithm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little doll. All our videos are about dolls and jam. Yes. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else has been in any of our videos, YouTube. Okay. Nothing. Monetize them all, please. Thank you. Especially this one. Yes. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, oh my God! We're getting so much light royal. Since 身上穿棕色皮夹克最后是最难防范的精神攻击，表现上很接近我们刚刚来到云林时遭遇的心理暗示。队长，我们在这里停留太久了，必须要转移了。检查装备，继续向隧道前进。Okay. Explain. Okay, so that audio cassette detailed uh, they were attacked by an Asian male wearing a black mask. The black mask had miasma around it that was causing severe damage to people by corroding their skin. It also could launch fireballs, which explains the burned corpses we just found. Uh, and it also had like a psychological attack, but it didn't really explain that particularly well. Um, but still, um, yeah. All right, let's read the bunch of reports we found. Records of astrology. Oh, this is probably irrelevant. June 15th, 1597, the 25th year during the reign of Shenzong, Emperor of the Ming Dynasty. Today the sun suddenly turned into a dark plate and the sky above the Yangfei Mountains thundered. Today dark lights appeared on the solar surface, cold weather continued for seven days and animals enter human residences and beg for food. May 13th, 1621, the first year during the reign of Zizong, dark flows erupt out the sun, the balance of yin and yang was disrupted, a devastating plague occurred. The fourth year during the reign of Zizong. From this day, the sun turned red and dim for four days. Initially, two or three dark spots lingered around the sun and their number gradually increased to approximately 100. During the four days, noise could be heard from Lianfeng Mountains. Rivers were clear for days. And then dark lights and flows appeared in the solar surface. An earthquake occurred in Yelling Village, destroying houses and injuring livestock. Wow, these are some seriously fucked up stuff. Mm. The so-called dark lights are in fact sunspots, if I'm not mistaken. According to the records, when such anomalies happen, hazards would happen in Yunling. This looks strange since they're irrelevant. Perhaps the problem lay in the Langfang Mountain rather than Yunlin Village. We've got a rainbow. <laughs> I don't know what that is, actually. Oh, there we go. Uh, supernatural phenomena in Yunlin Village. After we entered Yunlin, conspicuous space-time instability appeared with no distinctive sector borders, which differed from several former incidents similar to this. Yet after entering the village, we were charmed with mental suggestions under unknown circumstances and misjudged the situation as normal until we received regular psychological diagnoses. The following paragraphs are the specifications. 
The recon squad arrived in Quingyu County, entered the Onion Village factory ruin and finished the preliminary reconnaissance. On our way back to the provisional camp for a regular meeting, all members had cognition problems of various degrees. To be more specific, the sky of Yunlin was at midnight for a long time, yet all squad members were unaware of such an anomaly. After cognition corrections based on the images photo on April 17, we found the moon above Yunlin did not move for nearly 12 hours, so stagnation existed within the limited range of time at Yunlin. No further evidence proved that there were other time anomalies. During our investigation via the reverse locator, we discovered the pattern of the space turbulences within the main peak of the mountains. Preliminary speculation was the turbulences were unique environmental effects caused by slate derivatives. During the following investigations, the recon squad launched two piercing missiles into the mountains. Though they successfully penetrated the mountain surface, no feedback was received. Other measures to explore the internal sections of the mountains failed mysteriously. The main peak of the Lianfeng Mountains has been labelled as a first degree target for investigation. Okay, so time doesn't work here like normal? I guess not. We have another investigation report. Sentinels on night duty reported human activities in Yunlin, which were recorded by the auto alarm system and the bioprobe. However, after psychological diagnosis we performed on the Sentinels, mass hallucinations or mental suggestions were ruled out, and therefore they entered combat readiness. The following paragraphs are detailed reports. Around 3.20 a.m., the Sentinels reported via intercom that human-like activities had been spotted around the camp. Based on the descriptions, the recon squad sent three members to search within the marked area. The investigators returned to camp and reported they found no signs of bio activities. After another round of psychological diagnosis performed on all members, the Sentinels' report was a misjudgment. Sentinels and night duty reported again that signs of life were spotted around the camp. Two investigators found shoe prints. The camp was on alert. The camp fortifications were constructed. Eight investigators in two groups searched respectively in the east and west until 9.30 a.m. No more clues were discovered. A mysterious humanoid has been labelled as a first degree target for investigation. And I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yay. All right. So this is the bit where I quit last time I played this. In anger, baby. I know. So we could be here a while. We could do it quickly. Wish me luck. Good luck. It just saves, so that's numb. That doll is... Uh, the, the texture popping in this game is crazy, actually. It's a good luck statue. Yeah. Of a, of a frog. Of a toad. Frog toad. Toad frog. Oh my god, please light. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. You heard the click, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> compared to when it actually happened. I don't know if it went on, on microphone, but yeah. <laughs> it's really long delay. All right. I'm not entirely sure what this creature about to deal with is, but maybe you'll be able to figure it out from what we've seen or read so far. We'll look at those pictures once we're out of here, okay? Got some very jammy places here, by the way. So much jam. I guess that's like from a certain era of communism, it looks like to me. Mm. <sighs> okay, here we go. Got work. We need that to open the gate. You know, we're looking for a way to open the gate. Mm -hmm. Got a lovely pie. Whatever the fuck that is. And they're eating the pie. The dolls. Mm. Hi. Oh, you don't need that. You really don't. Oh. Okay. He's very fast, by the way. But we already fooled him. <laughs> Where did he go? I don't know. The designs are really good. Yeah, the design here. I, I don't know if that is stock. It looks like it might not be, you know. Well, I mean, you're the one who's trying to guess if things are stock or not. I don't care. It's a good design. Okay, I think he despawns. I do like the way it reminds you to get the cutters there, by the way. It's like, remember, you need it, Numkin, otherwise you'll be a dumpkin. You know? Yes. 
Where's the soup, Greg? Yes. Okay. I'm glad you enjoyed your soup. It's very numb, thank you. Why don't we just like, take the axe? Like, there's weapons everywhere. I know the guns were all broken that we found, but... Take the axe! It's an axe! Yeah... That would make sense, but... We're just a little youngkin. We don't think about that sort of thing. We don't think about it? We don't think about it. All right, we're gonna read the... Well, look at... I say read. Look at these pictures we found. We found a bunch of them in here. I really wish you didn't have to look at the old ones, though. Uh, crude drawings by Bang Zama's daughter. The family of the three seemed to live in harmony. Perhaps at the time, they'd not taken part in the cult. Okay, the mum's in a wheelchair, look. Bang Zhao was cooperating with the Japanese. They gave him many things. The drawing's too abstract, but I guess they were pills. Oh, no. Bang Zhao and Zi Ming were conspiring in the cellar. Was this the beginning of the cult? What did they do that? Did the Japanese ask them to do so? Father and Uncle Z are whispering while hiding in a cellar. I want to eavesdrop on them. My mum doesn't allow me to do that. Oh, there are descriptions of them. Yeah. I'll read the descriptions of these quickly as well. Father recently been close to these brutal Japanese, which scares me a little. The wonderful news is my mum's condition has greatly improved. Oh, I guess he, they gave her them drugs. I guess the soldiers gave them, her, him drugs to help the mother yeah. in exchange for something. My sixth birthday, I wish my mum would recover soon and my father would no longer toil. Okay. All right, this is, this is where I quit. Are you ready? being chased if you didn't realize no i didn't here we go escape the monster's hunt it's gonna be easier said than done this okay here we go wish me luck nomkin oh my god so this is the first bit no please hurry you do have to pull yourself up here by the way otherwise he just hangs there then falls off Oh. He's still coming, by the way. He jumps across. Oh, wow. Oh! Yeah, I could never get past this bit. Um, whatever I did, I, I've watched about five or six videos of this. Whatever happened, what happens here, never happens in the videos. And I've no idea why. Oh my god, you were right, baby. We got across. Baby, we got across! So, once again, I proved to my wife that maybe she should just take my advice. It was Okay, it was only the third try. Oh my, he's still back, but still. <laughs> I love the way the music's so calm, even though we're being currently being chased by this hideous monster that will kill us in a single hit. I can't see, I'm dead. I went into a dead end. Oh! 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 Oh, it's not a one-hit kill anymore! Yay! Watch it be a one-hit kill suddenly in a minute. <laughs> he just missed me there by pure chance. Just keep going, he's fine. He's right behind me. My stamina's out. Dive into the pool to avoid the monster. Where's the pool? Here. Find a way to pass the bridge. He's still coming. I think you were supposed to wait in the water while crouching. I think that's what that little thing was. I'll try. He's an asshole. Yeah, he is. Fortunately, it saved just as we were getting to the water, I think. Now it let me off. Okay. Is it going back down again? No. Okay. We need him to be on the other side, like as far away as possible. Mm -hmm. Bye. And then there was an item there. Oh, did he not follow us? <laughs> can he not get through there? I think he can. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, Terry. 
除了挡水杯，偶尔也磕上一下饭碗。Wow, it's a bowl. Oh hi, hi. Out of fuel? I don't know. Yes. I'm scared, baby. It'd be nice if it told you if you were out of full fuel. A unique so, sensor. Uh, I think that's an incense burner. Oh yeah. This fancy burner is nice. I don't know who it's from. It's a fancy lunchbox. Why is he being so calm suddenly? We just had this crazy fucking chase, and he's like, "Oh yeah, whatever." Yeah. 我也只能舍命陪一回君子了。但愿余神保佑，一切能顺利进行。Okay, so you want to explain? Um, I didn't really get much from that. I'm gonna be honest with you.、Uh, okay, I don't know how you didn't get much.、Uh, the the his dad, this guy's dad, has been dealing with the Japanese, and someone is just saying, I don't. Know how this guy can be so ballsy as to try to deceive the Japanese? So I guess on the side he's like conspiring with an evil god. Um. And uh, the the person on the tape was just like, "Oh yeah, well I have to be here. I have to stick with it until the end." And and then for some reason he said, "I pray to the fish god." The delicious fish god. That. Uh, the, the something will be smooth. So I, I, I guess it means like the course of the river. You know what I mean? Like the course that we're on might be smooth.、Mm -hmm. I think we have to go back out here. By the way, go to hide opposite. Okay. Oh, now the water doesn't count anymore. Are you fucking? The rules change. You can't have the rules of your game change in the middle of a fucking section. Okay, you can't change the rules. If the water makes you invincible to him, it's invincible. If it isn't, it isn't. One or the other. Pick one. Don't change it. It's ridiculous. Maybe it wasn't a deep enough pool. I, I think I, I think the rules just completely changed. Before he couldn't go in the water. <laughs> I'm just gonna hoof it. He says go to hide opposite. I don't know what that means, but. I mean, it, it sounds like go across. I have a key now. Maybe is it, this door can be open. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I am so fucking dead. I, I've run out of stamina. Ooh, 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 ooh. This fucking asshole! I hate him so much. <laughs> cupboard, 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 cupboard. Get in. I hate him. I hate him so much. This prick. I hope he dies soon. <laughs> I think your problem, Bippy, is you just need to follow the instructions on the thing and disregard anything you might have experienced before. And I know that sucks, but I think that's just the, that's just what you have to do. It seems <laughs> I can solve him with this eye monster. Oh, I did it. That's Uncle Z.、Uh... Mucus dripped on Uncle Z. What does that mean? Bippy, what's happening? Oh, the the babies eat him because he's covered in the jam. Okay. <laughs> that was pure chance that he happened to be under that when I was fucking with it. By the way, like I did not, I was I was not planning to get him. <laughs> is that the, is that? Oh god, that's horrible. You know, just just zombie things. Hashtag just zombie things. Yes. I hope the little babies aren't down there, but I bet they are. We'll look at these in a minute. I think they're more wonderful drawings by the little girl. There are a lot of them as well.
Well, I guess he's gone. That's good, right? Yeah. Okay, do we need to open that? I don't know. Or is he just going to be like, wow, this is valuable. End of conversation. Maybe that. I'm very confused by what I just picked up there. I'm not going to lie. Oh, he dropped something. Oh, Uncle Z's knife. Do we have a weapon now, finally? Don't be silly. <laughs> Why? Why you gotta crush my dreams like that? What did he say then? It's the same thing. I picked up the same item by mistake. Alright. Let's go through these wonderful stories. We already looked at this one, right? No, this is different. A rank B investigator went missing in action during the investigation of the Yellen chemical plant. While his fellow investigators showed nothing unusual, mental disruption was ruled out. No time space traps have been found. That's what they meant by space traps. Like time space trap, like you know oh. what I mean? Have been found in the subsequent investigations. We failed to pinpoint the locator and no traces were found among the areas adjacent to the missing point. The following paragraphs are detailed reports. The rank B investigator and three other investigators went to the plant side of Yunlin village to gather intelligence. Since the camp had been on alert this morning, we were allowed to carry C-class weapons. The missing investigator reported to the camp via intercom, claiming that his team had already arrived at the target area and the search was carried out as planned. Three other investigators reported to the camp that the team member went missing and required support. They sent back the coordinates of the incident. Three task teams of 12 investigators in total arrived at the scene. One of the three teams guarded the missing investigator's teammates and the two started to search around the area. All four teams returned to the provisional camp. After psychological diagnosis, the missing investigator's teammates were quarantined and inquired in order to reconstruct the missing scene. Based on the three confessions, it's clear the missing investigators disappeared on the second floor of the dorm after he entered the plant site. Others on the first floor on the rooftop found no anomalies. The portable gaze showed nothing unusual either. When the investigation there was over and they were about to proceed to the next location, they noticed their teammate had gone missing. Nothing unusual was found on the second floor of the old dorm during the subsequent investigations. No disappearance took place either. After taking photos of the suspicions, we shut down the missing area. We waited for reinforcements and we decided to reopen the investigation in light of future situations. The area has been temporarily labelled as a second degree hazard. This is like Chinese SCP. Mm. The sketch indicates that the monster I saw in the village committee should be fully transformed Bang Jamal. I still recommend remember the dull, dual faces on his body. Yet what attracts me more is who saw this and sketched it. Wait. So is it his wife and child? The other sketch? Oh, oh no, they're not. They're on his back already, see? Yeah. Yeah. I thought they were like, he was like merging with them Wait, or something. Wait, so is that our dad or is that um the, just the, uh, the, the, the cult village? Lead. I can't tell. I've forgotten their names. I'm going to be honest with you. It's hard to remember. As expected, Bang... Okay, so no, it's not our dad. Okay. As expected, Bang Jamal's wife and daughter didn't die of sickness. They were murdered by him. After he'd been distorted, his closest relatives would not escape such ill fates. So those cultists didn't act voluntarily. The unknown shadow... He was the leader of the cult. Okay, the... so he, our dad didn't have anything to do with it. It's this guy. Yeah. The unknown shadow should be the true perpetrator responsible for what Yunlin Village has become now. Did the horrible shadow bewitch Bang Huaid? No, concerning the worst scenario, maybe. Bang Zun's father at the time was not Bang Huaid anymore. My father has changed. I don't really know. There's too many Bangs. Interestingly, Bang Jamal returned from the mountains and became a hero, while Bang Zun said he saw something terrible behind him. The past of Yanlin is more intricate than I thought before. If not mistaken, Bang Jamal has met the father this time. Wait, who's the father? I guess our father, I mean, probably. Uncle Z carried father back from the mountains. People called my father a hero, which I didn't quite understand. I secretly told him about a gruesome shadow following when she looked nervous too. Okay, so... I think the, the when we go in the details, that's what's written on the page, maybe? Yeah, it is. And then when we're reading the description, that's us. Yes. it's very So that's how, why we got confused. It's not our father, it's whoever's writing on the pictures. It's now. the little girl that's writing the pictures. Okay, now so, I understand. So okay. it, it sounds like the cult leader... Mm -hmm. went into the mountains and came back with like a demon or something that's caused the event to trigger. Yes. Once built by the factory as the living quarters for its staff, made of red bricks and black tiles, the dorm is adjacent to the green mountains. Its first floor served as a canteen and its second floor was the living quarters. Now it's deserted. Thick growths of weeds bring it to ruin, like desolation and loneliness, where remaining mottled walls... And it just ends. <laughs> oh, wait, uh... We can read this, can we, maybe? No, uh, yeah, mm. Oh yeah, and shattered windows tell people what glory is it owned long ago. There you go. Okay. 
A devil lurking in the shadow, its hollow eyes and dislocated jaw show the nature of corruption. Its mouthful and long arms cling to some kind of blade that will slash any souls that dare to tread upon its domain. The ragged working uniform it wears must not indicate its origin, making people involuntarily think the stories behind it. So this was Uncle Z, right? We determined. Yeah. One of the... I think, he one, I think the uncles are like the village elders. Yeah, I think so. It seems to be like a title, if that makes sense. Mm. I have no idea where I'm going right now, by the way. Um... But there is something here. Maybe I can cut this down now with the machete. Yes is the answer to that. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> the way I was standing was not the ideal place. Let's be real. Yeah. Decapitated by a bridge. Okay, so he's dealt with. But obviously there's going to be other creatures to deal with as we go. I think these are like, I don't, I thought these were like furnaces where they were trying to burn reports, but I, I think it's just where they've hidden them, like the soldiers. Mm. They all seem like classified reports. Oh, for fuck's sake. That part wasn't translated, so we can't explain. I have no idea, I have no idea what it's I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Find the black mask. That's a gorgeous tea box, I will say. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I just remembered something bad. Wait. You'll have to wait and see. Oh no. See this? Yeah. This is going to be important. We pull this and that closes. Remember that, alright? I won't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, do worry. There's the black mask. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. <laughs> oh, no. All right. You ready for a boss fight? So you know I said we'd be playing songs under pressure. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> Alright, time to get chased around a lot, I think. So we can pull lots of barriers down here to block him, I think. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I don't think you can get his files in here. Watch me get absolutely ruined in there. Yeah, he can't look. Hello. I'm just playing around with stuff at the moment. Give me a minute to get myself my, my bearings back. Oh, great, a relic. Can't wait to look at that for no reason. How's it going, sir? Well, you are a big boy. That he's a big boy. Oh, I do have to do it. Five. Five, yeah. All right, well, he's still stuck at the door, so that's good. Oh, he's a fast boy. Did you see that? Yeah. Not going to bring this one down yet, by the way. Just going to run this way. No, come on. Put the flute away. Oh, my God. I feel like the lighter flute is taking more, more and more time to, you know, run out. Mm. Does that make sense? Less time. Less time. Less time to run out. That's what I mean, yeah. Why can't I... You passed by a flute thing. Where? Right there. Thank you. Three. Where is he? I'm not quite sure he knows where I am either. I think he's towards that way. I think the music means he has you. Yeah. I, could, he, he, I know where he is now at least. I need to get into that corner where he was. Unfortunately he's blocking it now with his fat bum. Yeah. That's okay though. There's another way around, otherwise you wouldn't have been able to get there, you know what I mean? Oh you know what God. I mean. Stop! Stop with the you know what it means! 
but he loves me. I do love you. You see a flute thing, yell at me, because I don't know where they all are. I will do my best here. I need a key from over here. This. I didn't press the... I don't know why it's so intent on doing the flute. Is flute E? Uh, flute is F. You must be accidentally hitting it. Oh my god, that was not good! <laughs> I need to get in here now. I don't know if you can get in here, it looks like probably not, but I'm guessing being in here when he is is bad. What number's there? Two. There's one or two more left. There's one literally just here, I think. Yeah. What number's this? Uh, Four. There you go. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Whoa! Okay. Just gotta get to the mask now without dying. But I have no stamina. Oh my god, baby, we're gonna do it. Oh my god, we're gonna do it? Yep, got it. Mask of the Great Makala acquired. I got a trophy for doing it fast. I spent ages wandering around. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> well, that was worth it. We lost the mask, and we got punched off a cliff. <laughs> hey, at least it's done. The woman's gonna call us and be like, Oh no, the mask is there! How the fu- I saw it fly off! Well, we did, that's the only thing that matters. That is a grumpy mask, baby. It's well grumpy. Return to the main entrance. Okay. I think we're on a new chapter now, by the way. Oh my god. Data entry is in progress. I think that was the first save since the boss... It didn't save when I picked up the mask, it saved there. Which is fine, it's not too bad. Oh, we're by, by our house! There's a door in our house that needs the mask of the Great Makala to open, so I guess we should go and open the door. Yes. We're back at our home. It's actually quite nice the way that you circle back here. Go to my sister's room to find the phone. Yeah, but first of all, this room needs the mask of the Great Macala. There is nothing in- oh no, that's not true. There is a mirror that we need to break as usual, I'm guessing. Two, one, three, two... God, it's so annoying that it goes away. Two, one, three, two, five, four, five. It'll be a flashback. It was last time. We went on the tube last time. Mm. I'm guessing this is meant to be story that we just don't understand any of. I'm going to be honest with you, Bevin Umkin. Yeah, mm. we're on a train again with our sister, question mark, who is not wearing a lot, and her clothes are... okay. Her clothes were getting very excited there, baby. They were desperately trying to leave her body behind as much as possible. <laughs> we got an audio tape? Let's listen. Nazo so, to summarize, the lady we've been talking on the phone with was on that recording. I think it sounded like her. And she said we have a mission and the coordinates will be sent to us to the mission because divine activity was sighted in the area. And we're um, um, allowed to use C-type weapons, whatever they are. Now, I don't know if that was actually meant for us or if that was the lady just... I doubt it, it to was. another person. Yeah. Um, but 
I, I think. There is another audio tape here as well. Same lady. Pawang 居功至偉。每個獄精會的成員都應該永遠銘記他們的姓名與功績,以及他們為了人類文明所做出的犧牲。以上。So, I think this is irrefutable evidence that the woman who has been trying to guide us, right, works for the government. It has a vested interest in the secrets in the village. And has been using us for her greater ends, which is not shockingly surprising. Uh, we have this new note. Sheltered by a clear blue sky and surrounded by mountains situated in the southwest of Quingu County. Oh, this is the same note. Hang on. Where's the... F Hang on. So where's our notes gone? We just had the default ones at the moment, which is weird. Because no, last chapter it jumped back, you know what I mean? Mm. But now we just have the chapter one notes. Well, whatever. I guess when we're in this area we have the chapter one stuff. I don't fucking know. I can't refine that note though. There's too many fucking notes to get through. How, how do I how do I how do I leave the train? Last time we just took pictures of shit until something happened. There we go. Oh hi! Those hands are literally not on anything. They were just floating in the air. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Right. Not quite sure why we needed the master to enter that room, but whatever. Hey, I'm coming, Jesus Christ. Hello? What? Congratulations, you have been able to get out of the prison. Have you already known that there is a prison? How would it be? I'm just guessing. You're a shit liar. 监狱在哪儿？事先声明，那里可比外面危险多了。据我推断，你很难活着出来。而且你自己也发现了吧？这一切很可能只是个针对你的陷阱而已。就算这样，你还是不愿意放弃吗？哦，当然，你姐姐也
Well, we can't go down the ladder either. Where the fuck do we go? Mm, I don't know, no king. Is there like a back door in here that we can go through? Oh, what's this? Hang on. Aha! Here's the mask. The grumpy mask. Oh my god, he's so grumpy. Where are we? What is going on? I don't know. Being very methodical right now. Um. It's fine, don't worry about it. Are we literally going to another world? Do you want some? Do you want some jam? Yes. <laughs> I want some delicious jam. <laughs> oh God! Oh no! Don't start it. Seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think that was a good idea. Explore that. Yeah, we went to another world. Oh, he's talking in Chinese without any subtitles again. Excellent. Yeah. I'll translate. We're in the Divine Realm. Ha 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 ha. It is so good here in the Divine Realm. I love it. The notebook has changed and some content's been deleted by unknown thank forces. Thank fuck! <laughs> so we can actually see. Yeah, it says we're. I like, just got the trophy for being like in the world between life and death. Mm. Find a way to open the gates. No courage of a warrior collected. Wow. He's calling me out. Oh, no. Basically, they're like, you're a coward. Fix it. No, you fix it. No, you fix it. No, you fix okay, it. Okay, so this is the way forward, and we need to put the courage in there to open the door. Got it. How dare you. I'm not going to lie, and this is going to sound... I don't... It's going to sound uneducated of me, right? Mm -hmm. But I thought these type of gate things were only, like... Um... Hello? Did the... Ninja 二十年前的无光之日这都多亏了你的母亲我因为太过虚弱Okay. So, uh, summary? I will try and summarize. Okay, so... The Crane God presides over the village. We just meet a, met a very weakened version of it here in the other realm. Mm -hmm. um, the reason it's weak is when the cult leader started uh, his ritual lever that killed everyone, it was an event called the Unlight, which is why the game is called Arrogation Unlight of Day. When some kind of entity was trying to break free into our world, the Crane God stopped it with our mother's help 
that they used us as like an anchor to stop the god coming into the world, the dark god. And as a result, if we die, the dark god will enter the world, which is very sussy that we've been invited back here now. Um, the crane god is weak from the encounter with the dark god before, and we need to give it our power by finding it in order for it to survive another battle with the dark entity. There I'm not sure about that last part. I think he's just trying to find his sister. Well, she said, like, f find me, basically. Oh, we just found the thing to open the door, just in a graveyard. I don't know. We're, I'm sure someone in the comments is going to write a very much better summarized uh, it, version of it the story. It amazes me. This is, and this isn't, this isn't being bum about people, by the way. It amazes me how much attention and pe things people, people draw from a game. Mm. You know, we played that Gap game a while ago that um. had, like, we were like, we have no idea what's happened, right? Mm. Someone wrote an incredibly, like, lengthy, like, description of everything that happened, and it made so much sense. Mm -hmm. And I can't actually believe that... Well, great. I'm <laughs> But但这是部队长亲自下达的命令，我也无能为力。怎么会这样？你为什么一定要出去呢？被发现可是真的会死的。那是我父亲唯一的遗物，我必须要找回来的。拜托您了，请帮帮我吧。就算我想帮你，但
like there's definitely some barriers here, right, to to entry. Mm. So we need to find the attribute. This so this other world we're currently in. None of this is real, but it seems to be showing us what happened to our sister and the people in Yunlin. The like a uh, military installation. This seems to be right. I guess. I gotta admit, I'm confused about the transporting of worlds thing. So, the the mask shows you, like, uh, like, your secrets and desires and stuff, I guess, I think is the implication. And we did, like, a ritual to be able to see th what is going on here. <laughs> what is this? It's a radio, right? But it's like... Okay. But I still don't fully understand myself. I get, I mean, I get the general gist of the story. Okay. Very quickly, yeah, I'm going to summarize the general gist. Mm. All right. Uh, years and years ago, I think 20, 20 years ago at this point, okay, there was a h horrific incident in the village we lived at, Yunlin Village, where most of the village population died. The only survivor at the time I was told was myself, but it's evidence now that other people, including my sister, survived and were taken in by the government. Mm. Okay. The reason they've been taken in is the government seems to have been investigating strange Japanese artifacts that were being held by a cult on the site of Yanlin village, which are potentially responsible for the devastating events that occurred that day and killed a bunch of people. Right. That's it. That's the basic summary. We're looking for our sister and there's a woman who's working for the government who is kind of egging us on and presumably knows a lot more than she's letting on. Mm. I hope that makes sense. Mm. I think that was a good summary, right? Watch it be completely wrong. Watch it, yeah, watch it be like, <laughs> it's not even our sister, it's our mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, it's shooting acid at me. Excellent. Don't know if I should go in that room or not. I'm going to be honest with you. This acid is not going away. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about this. Maybe we can use it to burn something open. I'm gonna Just check out the other side of the hole. Smash our face against it. Wow, this is obnoxious. Okay, you can't have this on screen for this long. What the fuck? It's covering the book! About the 141st Regiment, the administration department responsible for launching, commanding, and recording the work, its sub-departments are the command department and the information center and archive. The command department responsible for all works of the Research Institute, mainly in drafting work plans and summaries, as well as commanding military operations. The information center responsible for delivery and copy of all documents, intelligence acquirement, and information confidentiality. The archive responsible for the preservation and management of documents. The logistics unit responsible for the logistics of the Research Institute. Its sub-departments are the kitchen, the medical... I don't care about any of this. The Material Management Department responsible for the management of facilities and materials within the Research Institute. These are just, this is just a list, right, of the different divisions of this 151st Regiment. The only ones that are interesting, right, is the Retrieval Unit, which is responsible for the harmless treatment of all kinds of waste, the Backup Unit, responsible for the enrollment of training in new recruits, and the Research Unit, which does the research. It's basically the different units that you would expect to have in a facility like this. Okay? Yeah, that's fine. It's flavor, hun. I know, but it's boring flavor. No, it's just flavor. Stop it. <laughs> I, I hate the fact I can't see right now. I understand. Basically, every time he's picking up a Japanese sort of artifact, I think he's in, he's, he's insulting them. He's insulting them. He really doesn't like the Japanese. I think. I think. Well, obviously. <laughs> I mean. For, for, for pretty good reasons, I will say, it, it, considering the reasons. historical relevance of some of the stuff in this. <laughs> he really doesn't like the Japanese. Like, when we picked up those swords with, like, honor written on them, he was like, honor, pff, lies, sort of thing, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Like, it was the implication, like, why would they be, ever be honorable? Mm -hmm. Which, are we in a Japanese research institute? I mean, it sounds like it. It does, actually, you're right. Which makes even less sense now to my brain. There's only the only way to go is through that room, so I'm gonna go back and get killed by the eyeball, okay? I wonder if we've been speaking to a Japanese woman this entire time. It is possible. I don't know. The Japanese are definitely the bad guys in this. Again, unsurprisingly though. Yeah. God, this is so obnoxious. I wish they, they this wasn't in the game, this eyeball shit. I'm running through the room, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. Alright, clues have been updated. I'm going to try and... 
I, I, I just wish it would go. <laughs> what do I do to get rid of this shit? Oh, there's a water shower here. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, thank you, game. I love you. <laughs> Mwah. I can read the notes again without having lying jam covering my screen. The worst jam! <laughs> to materialize the subconscious, did such tech really exist on Earth? It seems like a prank on the pretext of Jung's psychology. If this document is true, many questions will meet their answers. So this is research on the shard. 023 is an object that human beings cannot directly touch with their limbs. Adverse reactions from touch include, but are not limited to, unconsciousness and neurological shock. The mechanism behind these reactions is unclear, yet they are non-lethal. Such characters sufficiently prove that 023 should be a shard of smeared, redacted. Based on related studies, 023 never shows in the historical records of other regions, which has been preserved in Yunlin for 700 years after its discovery. 023 shares the same capabilities as other shards, namely to sense and amplify the moods of intelligent beings within certain areas, to materialize human thoughts and collective subconsciousness. No further difference between it and the other shards have been discovered via analysis. 023 is mainly preserved by powerful magnetic field generators and single crystal diffractor meters. It shall be guaranteed that each main generator is paired with a second generator and backup powers include emergency batteries that are able to keep the generators operating at full capacity for 30 minutes which decreases the daily activities of 023 and isolates its connection with human thoughts. Operators should increase the shielding intensity to make 023 hibernate if necessary. So this is literally like an SCP. Yeah. It's a shard that interferes with human consciousness that they managed to lock down. Mm. So these are the things we just went past. Um, there's a statue of the crane god that talked to us. This is the thing we just encountered. A slimy chunk of meat with a huge eyeball in the middle of its most disgusting monster I've seen in my return to the village. I think that's questionable, actually. <laughs> its vision is extremely strong to distinguish prey from a far distance. It forms a special symbiosis with the mouth beast by jetting irritant goos to guide them. We'll go back. And read the other ones. A small statue of the crane god, once a common trinket to see in each corner of Yunlin. The village believed it to be a medium to communicate with the lofty lady. Now in the ruins of Yunlin it can be found nowhere. I don't know why it appears here, badly damaged and buried deep in the ground. A building with the worship hall and a tori occupies a large patch of land. Its style embodies a vivid comparison and unspeakable feeling of grotesquery. The Japanese troops that mysteriously disappeared might have met their end here. The origin of these structures still confuses me, especially that worship hall that looks familiar and drives me to burn it down. Interesting. A huge okay, so this is like definitely a Japanese. It's definitely, we're in definitely like a Japanese facility for some reason. A huge cavity could be found inside the mountains. I believe the Japanese were unable to completely hollow out the whole Yangfan mountain and the place might never exist. Perhaps the crane god once created this tiny world to seal the great dark sky. Or my mind goes wrong and all these scenes before me are mirages. I don't think any of this is real. Mm -hmm. It's like feeding us information, the, like the mask is. So I was right of the, about that, um, that being the inside of a crater. Yeah, you, you probably you actually were, yeah. Hollowed out. Mm. I hate you so much, Leila. We're not friends anymore, okay. Well, that's actually good, because I used a few in the boss fight of those. Because he was a fast boy. I don't like the fact I have to go into the menu afterwards to look at it. Mm. As I suspected, these monsters are all byproducts of Japanese experiments. From these records, I made a disturbing discovery. The Japanese actually had the twisted idea of using these monsters as battlefield weapons. Thankfully, they are dead now. The giant eye-like creature wrapped in corrupted biomass is a product of the failed fifth human divination experiment. We called it Eye Monster, or Giant Eye. When the experimental body establishes a mental connection with the black divine factor and... 023. The experimental body will develop this kind of disease, which is manifested as rapid swelling of the eyeballs, bursting of the skull. The enlarged eyeballs will swallow, extract, and twist some organs in the brain and the chest cavity until all parts except the pupil are covered with flesh and blood. At this time, abnormal structures will appear in the upper part of the ball. A strong smell of viscous liquid will flow out. When an eye monster sees other creatures, including humans, it will spray a sticky substance towards the other party. The effective range is about 15 to 18 meters, with some differences between individuals. The sticky substance is a strong adhesive property and it's difficult to remove. It does not pose any harm to biological bodies, but the odor it emits will attract other black factor derivatives for hunting. It is necessary to immediately seek a water source for flushing out contamination. Okay, so that was more detail of the thing that got us. Yeah, so it, it would have seemed that all the creatures we're seeing in the village are a byproduct of mutation caused by 023, and the mm. Japanese tried to harness that. Mm. Makes sense? I mean, it makes sense, right? Sure. Jesus Christ, dude. 
<laughs> he really does not like them, does he? Well, of course not. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. 491. Probably important for something. Mm. I wrote it down. Oh my god, thank you so much, baby. You're so smart and so beautiful and so numb. I mean, I'm numb of those things. You're numb of those things? <laughs> this looks bad, by the way. Like a boss fight coming up bad. I wonder if we'll need to find water sources. Oh, dear. Yep. Oh, it spat at me. Yep. I am so fucking dead. Where's the water? Where's the water? <laughs> I'm dead this time. Oh, okay. this was the same thing in the village. It was. It's how we killed oh, Uncle He or whatever the fuck his name was. I just realized that. It yeah. just clicked. His name was Uncle He, right? Or something like that. I oh. don't remember Uncle something. Uncle... Uncle Bang. Uncle what's-his-face. Uncle, you got too long of arms and your teeth is falling out. All right, so we... This is good. I'm going to have to move really fast here. I don't think they will attack me unless I get hit by the eye. But you will get hit by the eye. Not if I use cover, right? I don't know. We gotta try and find the door and put the code in, probably. Oh my god. I don't think they will attack me. Oh, bullshit! That was through the thing! Did you see that? Here's water, here's water, here's water! Oh, that wasn't hard. No. I, I should have just run for the door, to be honest with you, for initially, but I didn't know it was that close, you know what I mean? Mm. A quiet statue on the left. Oh, that's for the entrance hall. Mm. There's a big door in the entrance hall we can't open yet, and we need the statue on the left and right for it. Okay, cool. Like, I actually really like the game when it's like this. Mm. I d there's some bits I the chase sequences have been bad. But that, like, since that boss, it's been fine. Mm. Human experimental report. The human participants of the experiment, regardless of race, gender, age, belief, physical condition, or location, experience significant enhancements to their physical abilities, particularly in terms of self-healing. However, after 100 hours of enhancement, they gradually lost their rationality and exhibited varying degrees of mutation. The initial effects of 023 on the human body are benign, but after exceeding a certain threshold, the body exhibits obvious enhancement control characteristics, including uncontrolled cell proliferation, brain atrophy, loss of body fat, emotional instability and symptoms. That's what uncle happened to him. Mm. The principle is unclear. However, it means if interrupting enhancement can be found, it would be possible to control the degree of enhancement in the experimental body, retaining only the benign enhancement effect for the next stage of experiment. So they're going to make super soldiers. Mm -hmm. The experiment was carried out strictly through the planned design steps, although the results were not ideal. They clearly guided the next experimental direction and also completed the strength test of the restraining device in the experimental area. It has a guiding role in the subsequent improvements to the experimental area facilities and according to the results of the experiment, the danger assessment of 023 needs to be further enhanced. They're like, oh shit, this is bad. But we can still use it. Because why not? Yeah. I will say, getting out your lighter is incredibly clunky. And I'm never, I don't really know why. Oh, we're on the other side of the main hall. Where's the other statue, then? Oh, we unlocked a shortcut, at least, but I feel like we're missing something significant here. That I, I mean, we saw a statue, but we didn't pick it up. He just made a comment about it. Oh, no, open the door here. That's where the next one will be. Okay. So numb. It was a friendly statue, puppy. Yep, you're passing. I've already looked at these. I've been around the main lobby twice already. Okay. I definitely have looked at these. I got most. Of, I got the notes in here that we read. I don't like the eyeballs, baby. Full disclosure for people watching: at times I can't look at the screen, otherwise I get very sick. I think Chris <laughs> so is doing a why, really good job. So that's why sometimes I don't know where we've been or what we've been doing. <laughs> Yeah. Chrism gets sick in first person games, but because she loves you guys and she knows you like enjoy the dual commentary a lot, she's putting in, she's doing her best. Because mm. she's a numpkin, did you know that? I'm trying. Trying. Mm. This looks bad as well, doesn't it? Search for clues 
in Go to the Anatomy Room. <laughs> okay. What is this? Oh, this is the anatomy room, I guess. I guess I just turned the lights on, I think I just did. This is a very jammy room, by the way. Oh, no. Look. That dude. Ooh, 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 so much jam. That dude oh, is getting up. Oh, there was a thing. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Oh, shit, I don't like this. Um. We're in trouble. Can the ghosts of the past see us? They must. He's gonna be next to us. <laughs> We're gonna be running here, I think. Yep, it's a chase. <laughs> Where the game excels, as we know. Oh no. There's a this is a locked door. Oh hang on. No <laughs> way. No way this is gonna work. Oh my god, that's amazing! It was so glitchy that. Did you see him teleporting everywhere? I can't tell if that's like intended or not. Oh, I can't get out. I'm glitched. Do you see the teleport away there when I when I did that? Yeah. That worked. Hey yo, we're back. Um, the auto save. The initial corrupted. one was corrupted. We had to load an earlier save, but. Thankfully, it worked. There was one not too far away. Yeah, literally seconds before, which makes no sense as to why there was two. I mean, I'm happy there I was. I mean, I'm happy that there was. <laughs> but yeah, that was corrupt. Well, that was bad. Like, that was really bad. And this is a perfect example of why I don't appreciate only autosave games, or on only autosave games combined with only one sh slot. Yeah. So and this perfect example right here. Whenever we were going in the closet, it would just. You couldn't leave. Well, they'll see it at least once. Oh, they will. That's true. Yes, you will see it at least once. It's not. It's not very good. I'm assuming this guy's going to stick around a bit, so we'll be dealing with him. He went through that door, mm. but I think he's gone for now because the music chilled out. Okay, this is the next one. Regulations of test subject storage. Regulations regarding the research standardization of the Kanoe Regiment of Japanese Chinese Ex Expeditionary Force. Uh, standards for written project plans required to demonstrate the contents and possible applications to a later project required to mark the lab number project director and time beginning on end required to introduce the aim or application values of the related projects they were writing on their bodies I guess mm. required to list a number of test subjects specifications and drugs equipment required to write down the secondary plans and exact steps of related procedure the written project plans that have been finished must be reported to the administration I mean most of this stuff is just like flavor thing like you said before mm. um, basically they had to like do a lot of red tape. Nothing you would not expect, I guess, but you know. Yeah. Lots of red tape. And he's sorry, what did he say about that? Disregarding ethics and besmirching the lives and dignity of the innocent, they finally suffered the retributions and get what they deserve. Strangely, why did they pick the Yunlin locals? Were they doing this for the lady or simply for other reasons? And what that lady on the phone might be Japanese, you know. Yeah, I know, that's what I, I said. Know, I know you said that. I do know you said that. And here's just a list of people that have been killed and things. Test subjects burned, spoiled food burned, experimental things burned. You know what I mean? It's a mm -hmm. list of things put in the furnace. Yeah. With a single month, more than 100 people perish, which could be called slaughter rather than experiments. When I recognise such atrocities continued in Yunlin for years, I itch to burn down this complex with numerous crimes behind it. After I save my sister, I will mark its end for sure. I don't think this is real, dude. Right, where did the guy go is the question, though. Listen, oh, we got to save, so... Sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta, you know... Not worry about it? Don't worry about it. Are these notes? Yeah. I mean, it's the same, uh... Uh, it's not, but it looks the same. It, like, it is the same texture, but... I don't know if it actually is supposed to be. Oh, he's gonna be behind me. No rush or anything, dude, but uh, if you could leave me the fuck alone. Hang on, did he just get electrocuted? He did. Oh, this got him! Oh! Dragging him over the blue shit stopped him. I wonder if we're gonna have a boss fight with that. This looks very likely. That was like teaching us a mechanic, right? Yeah. I hear a radio upstairs, but let's keep going down here first. Like, I know I, I'm like saying there's a lot of flavor text. Some of it is, is worthwhile, though. Some of it is good. Here's the thing. 
I'm a fan of flavor text. Okay, we need a flamethrower. But... I am not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be. <laughs> I feel like... Okay, here's my thing. This is a boss fight. 100%. I mean, I don't like it when Hi. the game is nothing but flavor text and has no effort in actually telling a story. Oh my god. I don't know. He's chasing me, baby! Find more blue. Find a way to escape. Elude the hunt. Elude the hunt. That one is a, th a thing, but oh, I think we took too long. I dodged it. Oh my god. And it made this on the floor. Where is he? He's invisible, which isn't helpful. Oh, on the body. Okay. What is it? Uh, five, two, five, three. You only have one hit kills. Is lame. I was kind of on the right right route there, I think, but it's so hard to do when you're under pressure. Yeah. Like I that stunned him, and it didn't. It wasn't enough to do that fast enough. Mhm. Mm We'll try a few more times, though. We'll get there in the end. This is the, the problem with this game is the chase sequences. They are bad. Yeah. Like, they don't give you enough time. He's invisible. I think he's meant to be like a ghost or some shit, though, right? Yeah. Okay, he's swinging at me right now, and I have no idea where he is, which is well, if ridiculous. He's swinging at you, he's probably behind you. Five, two, five, five four. four. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I did it second try though. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of the problems is, especially if those characters actually mean numbers, I don't know if they do or not, uh, but if they do, that's part of the problem. Um, is we're not fluent in Chinese. Yeah, we're not fluent in... Uh, so we need to find the left language. hand for this priest. Oh my god, he's on us again. Oh man, come on. Oh, he's got the mask! Oh, he's gonna go Super Saiyan? Yeah. This is a boss fight and a half, probably. Oh my god, everything needs an item here! Oh no! That needs bolt cutters, I'm guessing. Maybe I have no idea what I'm doing here. We're gonna die a bunch. I'm gonna be real. No Solomon's ring, of course. That's three items that we need so far, as it stands, by the way. I'm sure it'll be fine. How do I open the door, right? If, if he's on my ass. I do not know, love. Like, we got to search these cells, right? But the problem is, he's going to kill us. If I do. I mean... Alright, here's the plan, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to book it up this end. Take a uh, medical thing. A, a black thing and sprint back down. Like here, see? Mm-hmm. And hope that I can get in one of these cells and grab something before he kills me. Sounds like a plan, love. This needs Solomon's ring too. What the fuck is Solomon's fucking ring? I got the hand. I got the hand. I got the hand. Solomon's ring is probably and a I... ring Ooh! that belonged to a guy named Sullivan. Solomon. Solomon. <laughs> okay, I'm going to vent. I got the jaw of the priest as well. Is this a way of losing him? I got bits of the priest, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> I got three bits. I don't know if that's enough. So wonderful. Papa, I have no fucking idea what's happening. Don't don't ask questions. It's fine. I hope it gives us a checkpoint here. Yes, it did. Okay, good. Solomon's ring. Oh, fuck you. Okay, we have. I think we have all the bits of the priest now. But we are dead. Oh no, hang on, hang on. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> his little peats, his little peats. Tippy tappy, tippy tappy. I think this is going to help us. 
Yeah, get fucked. That's the ring. Yay! Fuck you! <laughs> I think we beat him. Yep, I got the trophy, killing the high rank. Yay! Oh, we got the keys as well. Oh, yes! Oh my god, but we did it! Okay, that's the way forward, but let's use the ring and get some extra items first, yeah? Oh, I'm so proud of myself! Oh, hang on. This has vanished. Oh, I guess we could put it on anybody, maybe? Mm. To get him. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy. <laughs> that went actually surprisingly okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Do you want your ring back? This is a thank you. I, I have no idea what happened, but I'm glad you're okay. I think we can hear their the last dead. words. Yeah. They're very morbid, but very cool. There's, some, very cool, there's some really good ideas in this game. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely can now. Oh, no. We're still looking for the fucking statue, by the way, for the front entrance. Well, I have no idea what that says, and I can't possibly read it, because there's no subtitle. Just hoping it's not important. Probably will be knowing our luck, really. Fortunately, there is a subtitled guide that we can use if we need it to, Bubby. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to have a quick look around out here. This is going to be more flavour text that we can't read, yeah. Oh, that fight! That was surprisingly the best chase. Mm. Because everything felt like it worked properly. Yeah. Anya, you're there? Aww. I'm so we're He's... not going to summarize these ones because no. they're very sad. <laughs> yeah, and that guy's 43. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I keep listening out for the Pete's, by the way, because that guy's Pete's for like, oh, it's the crane. You're <laughs> Nichipan Yunjian,你怎么? Crane God's pretty chill. Crane God basically said, Hey, uh, are you sure you want to do this? He's like, yes. And she's like, you sure even though what you're hoping for might not come to be? And he's like, yes. And she's like, okay then, here's where you go. You need a pyramid. I don't know how to fix the pyramid, so go do a puzzle. And, we're, and, and we said, thank you, you're a very good goddess. Yes. And, and that was basically that. So we haven't got the other key yet. We still we've got half of the pyramid, but we need the other half to put here. But we do have the guards' keys, which let us do this. Access the other side of the hall now. This is actually some pretty cool level design, I will say. Like Here's this the is thing. the main hub. When it works, the game actually has a lot of good ideas. I said this during a cut, but I'll say it again. Um, the game actually has a lot of good ideas, but the the unfortunate part is that it's very glitchy. Um, there's a lot of quality control issues. Uh, and it kind of ruins what could be a really, really great experience. I would agree. Like, it's not, oh, no intelligent section key found. Okay. Like, there's some really, really cool bits. Like, I've, I actually enjoyed that chase, by the way. Mm. But that's because it worked. Unlike the young... Oh, no. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I'm not taking a picture of the maps because, well, you don't take a picture, you just look at them, see? Mm. And I, I can see where we are, but it doesn't really matter that much. So far, it's been pretty direct, you know? Mm -hmm. 
That's poor Jamkins. What is this? Um, bro, goodbye. Oh, yes. hi. What the fuck is that? Um. Squat down and don't step on the glass. Oh, we're definitely dead because you're definitely going to step on the glass. It doesn't have a head. It has a hand for a face. It's going to touch your bum. I don't think it is. I think I'm going to get through the room, actually. At least for the first time. They have to go back, I'm guessing. What if I touch your bum? You can't. I'm busy. What's the golden rule? If you're busy, no bum touch. Sorry. I don't make the rules. Acquired secret one. Decode the cipher. That sounds awful. I'm guessing we need more than one secret, though. I want to stand up and have a look at the desk properly, but I don't think there's anything else in here. I think we'll die if we do. Mm. So I'm just going to leave. I think the th the thing that's in here is the first secret. Is the first cipher. Oh, hi! Hello! Move, baby. Just don't step on the glass. You'll cut your foot and then also the thing will kill Put you. Put here, us. That rhymes with glass, us. I was singing a song! You Look at the sneeze. Look at the sneeze. Do I press this? It's a light switch. It's probably not important, right? Oh, how do I get past it, though? I'm gonna have to, right? Yeah, you're gonna have to. Oh, it's a siren, that's why. It's okay. It went straight through the glass. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I thought there was no sound either when you walk on the glass. <laughs> hey, that was actually pretty cool though. At least that wasn't a di I'm guessing more of that coming though. Yeah. Oh, please no Morse code puzzle. Oh. Hi. Hello. Okay, okay, after so we, need we to bring have, him the key. Yeah, after we have the key, he wants us to come back to him. Find a way to destroy the locked door. I guess that one there. We can set it on fire. We have a we have a heat source. No. There actually was a door ages ago that was like, oh, you need a flamethrower. So yeah, no flame cutting machine found yet. Oh shit! I was just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a door that we went past ages ago too that needed that. That's有关于完成的书稿，比我预想中的更有价值。仔细研究过后，我确信它应该是所罗门王晚年的作品。这里面充斥着对基督信仰的亵渎内容，正符合所罗门末期悲戚上帝的表现。更有意思的是，根据
He needs to stop beeping his Morse code, though. It's very rude. Uh, this is what it says. It's a clue. I wonder what kind of experiments we need a flame cutting machine. The B2 portable flame cutting machine you applied has been approved. Upon your request, we place the machine behind the painting named Kanagawa Okinamaura. Please check it and keep it properly. It will be given advantages here if I get it, won't it? Heaven be praised if I need not search for the key here and there. It's been a long time and I'm not sure whether it remains there. Let me have a look first. So yeah, we need the flame cutting machine, which is behind this picture that I didn't look at properly last time. Well, it's the same video for you guys, but for me it's like a day. Right, Nomki? Yeah. And now we can do this. Oh my god. Unprecedented. What the fuck is that texture there? Did you see that? Don't worry about it. It's completely flipped out. Explore new air. What the fuck is this? Well, whatever it is, I touched the glowy ball. It appears to be a teleporter. Oh, it teleports us down to the... This is the previous door we didn't open as well. We went in here earlier when we were being chased by the guy, but we couldn't go through. Because mm. it was sealed with the uh, thing. Oh, we can teleport back up at any time it looks like too. Let's go back up and check up there first, and then we'll come down here. Okay. Because I feel like we should check up the area we get to first, first. There might be a few notes and things, you know? Sure. Because I actually am, like, you know, like, picking up the lore and the flavouring and all that kind of thing. Delicious flavouring. I mean, sometimes you are. I think I have. I don't think I've missed many notes. Proceeds to have missed 500 notes <laughs> in the comments. There's someone who does all the timestamps of every note that I've missed. Well, that's all that's up here, actually, so I guess we are going back downstairs. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, it's just a document I took a picture of. Okay, let's read that quickly, and then we'll go down to the substation. We need to restore the power, Bebenomkin. Deputy Commander Togo, it's been found out the director had the third lab, Dr. Amimiya Tetsuya, moved and hid the Ramesses cube without authorization, deliberately changed the operation pulse with the substation control panel and caused wide blackouts which halted all experiments and directly or indirectly had 12 accidents and deaths of the least 35 researchers. He committed crimes by doing these to make sure the progress of the Amenominakanusi no Kami, I suggest you immediately intervene. <laughs> It turns uh -huh. out the other half of the period was kept by a name called Amiya Tetsuya. Perhaps I should visit his office where the unexpected gains may wait. But now it's urgent I restore the power of this building, otherwise we won't be to open up the door of the lab. Well, we know where we're going now. I've also, the levelling design here, where all the way it all loops around and kind of makes sense, is pretty clever for a, for a little indie game. Mm. Quite often, level design is a problem in low budget games. Oh, that's what that noise was. Well, we can't do anything here at the moment. I'm guessing touching this is probably bad for our health? Probably. I'm not an expert on electricity, baby, but I've read somewhere that touching electric things is bad. This looks bad, by the way. This looks like a fight. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Find the password for the main control panel. Oh my god. I actually know what the password is. <laughs> <laughs> now... Oh my goodness, how did you figure that out, Bubba? Well, I'm a genius. Okay, so you can remember this for me, baby? 423223. Four? Uh, no. Two, three, two, two, three. The power has been restored, and the bridge can be operated. D do I actually need to remember this? No. Okay, good. We may not find it in this room, I think, but... That's where you find it, I think, here. <laughs> Why are we freaking out? I mean, it just sounds like we're moving things. I have absolutely no idea what's happening, because the, the thing went out. What the fuck?! I think we sequence broke a bit here, don't you? I don't know. <laughs> I think we did. We're back out here again. What did I do? I don't know. I, I played with a bookcase and then I got teleported to a place I didn't want to be. 
Well, don't play with things. It's very rude. <laughs> I would say extreme. Oh no, it's not actually okay. What we did was move the bookcase. <laughs> it's very rude. <laughs> All we did was slightly move something to the left. It was very confusing. Are these the clues? Wow. Ninjas, huh, Bubby? Apparently so. Do you like ninjas? I mean, not when they're trying to kill me. I'm not sure that was particularly safe for us to do, but we did extend the bridge because we restored the power. Yes. And this should take us, hopefully... Oh no. How do we get the other bridge across? I do not know, no, Kim. Oh, it's probably that one down there, right? The other one that was sparking the entire time. I do not know. Listen. You're an expert. Oh my god. In 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 Dead Island 2, right? You can restore power to electrical generators by just pouring water between electric current and them. And the character's like, I'm an electrician now. That'll be two hundred dollars, please. <laughs> well, that's just rude. It's very dangerous, baby. And dangerous, but Rude, r r rangerous? Rangerous? Yeah. So this, hopefully, should take us to where we did. We did kind of sequence break a bit and missed a little bit of the game, but you know, I'm a genius, baby. So it doesn't matter. Why is everything floating in here? I don't know. I don't ask as many questions as you do. Why not? Because I don't think it's necessary. Suspended objects have been recharged. What does that mean? Baby, I'm very confused right now. Listen, there's a flip flop. So go ahead. There's a flip flop. It, it is a flip flop. Do you think they're going for a nice day at the beach? It's the only rational conclusion one can reach, right? I mean, honestly, I don't think they were doing that at all. I think they were doing something a lot worse, but... Whatever. Not having a nice day at the beach? Yes. Oh my god. This is shocking. Alright, let's have a look. I warn you the last time, don't bring anything from the laboratory or the safe key from room back, especially the Ramesses cube, whose chaotic force field makes the office a mess and everything's flying around. In short, I hope that when I come back, those messy drawers, boxes, flower pots and photos will be back in place. Otherwise, you'll not be approved to run the experiment. Do you think I have to put everything back? I didn't come here to organise the mess, although it said, if it's not cleaned up, it will not let me continue moving forward. I do! It's troublesome. It reminds me of my graduate tutor who was able to summon people. What does, what does that mean? <laughs> well, that sucks. So what do I do, do you think? Hmm... Yeah, there's pro you probably have to look at the pictures and follow the pictures, dear. I can't pick anything up, though. It's all, like, you know, like, just pushy. Maybe you just gotta push it to the right place. And that's why the switch is there, to reset everything if you fuck up, I guess. <laughs> okay. This <laughs> might be a problem. Oh, no, this one goes there. This one goes there, right? This is the same yellow draw. Come on. I believe. Yes! Baby, it got the suck! I can't believe it. We have a problem, though. Uh, the draw that I needed to push is, is kind of like here. And there's no jump button. So I think I have to reset this at least once, okay? What? Uh, that cup. That cut was giving me shit. Oh, there you go. That one stays in. It just resets the ones that are out. Okay, that's actually really good. There you go. Bubby, this 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 is actually good, well designed. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean... I mean, there's been aspects of the game that have been. It would be better if you could just pick up the item. But it's, it's a neat idea. Alright. So we now need to... What is this? What is this? Don't ask me. Is it a bunch of books on a notice book? It is. 
So this goes there. There we go. We just have to finish all three pictures. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get in the fucking lighter. It definitely runs out way faster than the beginning of the game. So we need to put a box in the lockers. Wherever the fuck that is. Where is the lockers? I do not know. I mean, I would assume those. Oh, here, it's this one. It's the white box that needs to go in there. Okay, little white box. you got a long way to go, all right? I believe in you, though, okay? I'm trying to save fuel. Come on. Bebby. Bebby, why? Bebby, no! Just let it do its thing? Well, it, 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 it's kind of, like, stuck. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is it, this is it, this is the moment. The gravity on this is not good, by the way. It's like... <laughs> ready, ready, ready. Push! I believe! Yes! Yeah! Yay! Alright, last one. What the f- It's a desk. With more books, I guess? I don't really see any more books, I'm gonna be honest with you. Do I have to get all the mugs back to the desk? If the mugs are floating around, I'd assume yes. That you're meant to put everything back to where it was. Probably. This mug's out of control, though. The chairs are up there. I haven't seen where they go, either. And they're not at a height that it is possible to do anything with, I will say. Well, maybe some of them don't go there. I, just... I don't see any... Oh, just it's... try your best. I don't know what else to tell you. Is it a plant pot I'm looking for? I'm going to reset the things. Here, this is it. This. Come on. I believe in you. It's the last item. There we go. Yay! What a silly little puzzle that was. That opened the door over here. Oh. Hi. Gonna pick up the notes before I pick up the pyramid that we need. That sounds like a good idea. Why is there a doll in here? Did they like dolls, do you think? I think so. Only conclusion we can reach? Yes. I remember the door on the second floor leading to the intelligence department. The question is, how do I get there? The plan goes smoothly. Without the Ramesses cube, the Amenon whatever must be doomed. In case of accidents, I took the risk by contacting Kamiya Kimi of the intelligence department and asked him to steal another mechanism key to cut off the road leading to the seventh lab. Now, Togo Kiyochi is carrying out internal inspections and therefore I require that you aid me to leave Yunlin on the 17th day. The reply should be delivered to Head Nurse Suzuki. I'm guessing this is Head Nurse Suzuki here. Mm. She does not look too good. But she is dressed as a nurse. Alright, so we need to find a way back now to where we were. Watch this watch be watch the sequence break I did have absolutely screwed the entire game. I mean all we'd have to do is load the previous save. That's oh yeah, it actually keeps all the saves, doesn't it, this game? I'm pretty sure. I mean that's how we stopped it from making <laughs> progress <laughs> impossible <laughs> on the other one. Yeah. And you're right you were right about last time, by the way. Every time he picks up something that's Japanese, he says something cynical. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, 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 these people are ourselves in this area here, in this lab. The bumpkins, baby. That's just how it goes. I thought I heard something there. I'm a bit worried. I understand completely. Like, this stuff being not translated is pretty bad. Mm. Especially when they did such a good job. Uh, what the fuck is this? I got the elevator key. This place is fucking huge. I mean, it is a massive top secret government lab facility, but still, it's huge. I mean, yes. It's more than four, baby. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Maybe a three. Maybe, maybe a five million, but not, not a four. Not more than four. Is it broke? What? <laughs> Did you see that? It was like, 
I can open it. Let me just break it. <laughs> you know what? I think more people should do that. I think people should do that more in video games in general. If something doesn't, like, you know, like, oh, this small barrier, I can't get past possibly, and then, like, just kick it in, you know what I mean? Yes. Alright, 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 let's go. No idea where this is hacking us, by the way. Oh, no, 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 no. Eyeball. You see that? Yeah. You're definitely gonna get squished. Never, there's water here. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you at the last second. I don't care. I'm the numkin. That's the bumpkin. I got another key. Uh, we got the, that's the key we needed from the... Oh, and the teleporter appeared as we did that. Excellent. Let's get this first. That's pretty handy, right? Yeah. I'd say so. Those... To be fair, those sections... Because the little guys don't actually attack you unless you get lime jammed. Mm -hmm. Then it's not actually that big a deal. Oh, the other guy said come see him after we got the key, right? Yes. The arm guy. He's just down here. Oh, no, he says we need something else. He says oh. missing cipher text. Well, that's just rude. Yeah, well... He's probably just a rude kid. Let's check out this area first, I guess. We have the pyramid to go downstairs too, but... Maybe not, actually. Maybe it's not quite finished. I can't really tell, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it might be three bits to the pyramid. I remember there is a door in the hall on the second floor. Okay, we already did this. Even in... Hang on, let me read this first. Letter to the intelligence officer. We checked your letter and discussed it for a long time. Finally, we decided that you should continue to stay with Togo Kiyochi, not only for the Anamuna Spear, but also for your safety. As the war goes on, we find it harder and harder to contact the HQ. Apart from the fact the Emperor has claimed us to be traitors, Kanoe's henchmen also hinder our cause secretly. Situations have been worse that within the organization, less than 20 senior investigators remain. To call you back will only put you in danger. I hate Togo too, yet no one can deny his wisdom. He is the only one in his generation who seems very likely to retrieve the Anamuna Spear. Otherwise, we would not spent so much time and effort to put you in an intelligence department. Remember, only the Anamuna Spear will save our dying organization, even the misguided Japan. The key to retrieving it depends on you. Please do carry on for the greater good. As for the unsealed evil god, a shard of your Chiba Stone is attached to the letter, which will keep you alive as long as you carry it. Keep it with care. May the god stand with you. I have no idea what's happening. Uh, something. Even in Togo's army, there were disloyal subordinates. We, we realise this. There's like lots of internal mm -hmm. machinations oh, yeah. from a mysterious yet world-spread organisation. The contents of the letter confuse me. The Anamuna Spear and the Chiba Stone are legendary relics from Japanese mythology, aren't they? Could such things be code names or something similar? Hardly can I imagine that Pangus Axe appears on the plots of in Investiture of the Gods and reanimated before me. I'm guessing that they've actually found these artefacts for real, mm -hmm. considering what this place is. Oh, yeah. They have a safe here. I don't know the code to this, so we need to figure this out. Let's have a look around. Oh, hi. There is a, something glowing in there. Hello. Maybe he's a jam monger. I think he had too much jam. Just another day. He's just like, oh, God, to jam. He's like slumped going like that. Mm -hmm. Jam coma. Jam coma. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what it is, Bubba. I don't know why you find it so funny. You just stick with me a bit, that's all. <laughs> Oh, hang on, this is, the, this is the note. The other statue is kept in the save. The password is 161384. I guess you will need it for sure. By the way, you're welcome. I also hate them. <laughs> May you succeed. Is this message left to me? It seems to be written by the intelligence translator. What a strange person he is. 161384. Oh my god. That was very easy. Yeah, that was a very easy puzzle. Boop, boop, boop. All right, well now we have all the all the bits. Let's just check down here before we go any further, though. 
Okay, this is this is the guy again from the other side. There you go. Now he gives me something. Thank you, sir. He's a very nice man. Jammy hand, though, right? Very jammy hand. He might be a jam monger. We don't know. It's impossible to... Okay, okay. Oh, where's the note? He gave me a note, but it's not in my inventory. Unless it was one of these? Oh! We missed a bunch of these that we didn't read. Well, that's because somebody doesn't like to stop and read. I'll read these. This is a magnificent ring that was picked from a dead body. This is the Solomon ring, with terrible energy hidden in the red amber embedded in it. The lights it radiates could even turn the monsters into ashes. The section of the amber is a pattern of hexagram seal. A unique resonance exists between the ring and the Hebrew columns. The amber appears dim when I wear it. It seems to repel me because of my different beliefs, does it? I only hope it won't turn me to ashes. Wow. Togo Kyochi, who wished to create gods in his delusions and whose soul has no rest after his death, was a puppet driven by the great dark sky. He finally perished under a divine light and met what he deserved. He was a rare genius who could have become a great figure to lead the advancements of human civilization had he not been brainwashed by Japanese militarism. A good man followed evil deeds. As the apex predators lurking in the shadows, their extremely strong limbs enable them to travel freely on the walls. Oh, this was the hand thing and ceilings, attacking from angles that prey never expect. They are sensitive to sound, yet their other senses degenerate, which thus they rely solely on hearing to hunt. An operator in the intelligence room who hid behind the one-way mirror tried his best to finish his duties and would not respond to anyone. He helped decipher the encrypted documents and translate files written in other languages, such as telegrams, letters, and notes. He seemed to be well-versed in multiple languages, including Chinese and Hebrew. Besides the author mentioned, hardly did people know anything about him. Who was mysterious? I it just ends there. <laughs> okay, that's what he just gave us, a summary about him, I guess. Yeah. All right, we can go downstairs in the lobby now and uh, open the door to the top secret finale lab, baby. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Where our sister presumably is, just chilling. Uh. Don't worry about it. You know the flute, by the way? Mm-hmm. We're going to have to use that a lot. Oh no. Yeah. Why could... Why, okay. Why'd the door need to be that one? I have to go all the way back up now. God. My character's already tired all the time as it is. <laughs> He's often like, oh my god, I'm so knackered. I'm cr cream crackered. That's what he says. Alright, got a tape. <laughs> Shenfu来自德国的一个普通犹太教家庭，但他家却留存着许多所罗门王时期的古董，其中甚至包括许多所罗门手写的书稿。我付出了很大的代价，才将它从德国人手里要了过。现在看来，也算无有所值了。Ok
The bandit powder horn was found in Zakopo in Poland and is categorized as the WS derivative. It's made of ox horn with two sides flattened and its end covered with iron. A legacy of a bandit from the Tatra Mountains is suspected that infinite gunpowder is stored in the horn, which requires further verification. Oh, this is kind of cool. These are the different objects. Yeah. The Joseph Flintlock was found in Krakow, Poland and is categorized as a WSF. It was gift given to jo- General Joseph by Marquis de Lafayette, which is regarded as a sign of struggles from national freedom. It was a pair of pistols and one of them is missing. The bullet fired by the Flintlock will explode or if it hits the target and the explosive power is about an explosion of 20 kilograms of TNT. It's extremely dangerous. Its use requires approval. The Romani Scepter was found in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt and is categorized as it's called Desto, which is a club sculptor from hardwood or a branch with a Nile. When using it, the wheel is able to block any incoming subsonic flying projectiles. Any lab can apply for its use. We should take all of these. Seriously? The Chris knife is from Kalimantan, which is an asymmetrical knife with unique patterns on its blade. It consists of a wooden handle and a steel blade, and its curved blade embodies the Holy Naga. The wounds caused by the knife cannot be healed by any means. It can be helped used after a commander's approval. Um, this is from a village in China. Um, it's uh, this is this is from w- w- our village from Yunlin. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has at least created one S tier living derivative before its discovery. Highly active, its environmental UIF normally exceeds five. Its safe prosecution requires a high frequency electromagnetic field with a minimum frequency. This is the thing that is mutating everyone, but it's been it's like in the shield. It's I guess it's protected right now. The Ramesses cube, which we have already on us. Which is why it's not here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's confirmed as a river. Um, let's have a look. The small pyramids may s- be some kind of energy storage device where strong waves can be detected. Such waves may also affect the gravity within a defined space. Do you want to go through all of these, yeah? Yeah, sure. Why not? We've got the perspective glass. It's made of wood frames and used to protect its wearer's eyes during a snow walk. Based on its wearer's will, it can penetrate any object and observe inside within the wearer's vision. No material can block its vision. So it's x ray specs. Mm. Um, this is from China. Um, it's made of bone of some extinct animal with many inscriptions on it. According to the researchers, those who touch it will see the future temporarily. However, it also causes discomfort to multiple organs and touching it over time will lead to death. It can be used after approval. Here we have a double-edged ritual axe from Poland. It's categorized. It consists of a handle and an axe blade and is made of pure steel. The axe is shaped like a crescent and the handle is a symmetrical axis. It is coated with silver and engraved with flowers and animals as its decoration. When someone is using it to attack other creatures, the creatures being attacked won't feel pain. It is dangerous and can be used after approval. Wow, a lot of stuff from Poland. Yeah. I guess because of the war? Mm. It's a traditional Caucasian knife with sophisticated patterns on its straight and broad blade. It's made of copper alloys and an ox horn, which it's using as a weapon or tool. It has a special trait of 100% hit chance when thrown. Um, this is a fossil of a sea lily from a long, long time ago. The sea lily is an aquatic endocrum and is named after its flower-like structure. The sea lily will resurrect after absorbing enough water and can utter a noise like a baby's cry. That's horrible. Mm. People who hear the noise will pour out large quantities of seawater from their lungs and drown. It is extremely dangerous and cannot be used, and it must be preserved in a vacuum. Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay, we've got a fish casket. Um from the Becker Valley, wherever that is. It was a fish-shaped container for spice and mainly used in Judaism holidays. It's been empowered after some ceremony in which food preserve will never spoil. It can also preserve this kind of material. That's useful. Mm. All right, these last ones here. We have the Ivory Yad. This one who owns the Yad will show the understanding and command of the Old Testament way better than ordinary people and keen on preaching Judaism. Mm. This one is the Khufu Pyramid. It's from the Khufu Pyramid, sorry, and it's the heart of Khufu. It's a small stone made a pyramid on a damaged base with the human images and inscriptions on its surface. By no means can any mark be left on it, including the use of other WSF derivatives. It's human images and inscriptions of unknown origins. So it's just an unbreakable stone? That's boring. <laughs> Um, so this is from Burkina Faso. This kind of amulet att- attached to a ring is used by locals to avoid diseases such as plagues and malaria and is sold in many towns and villages in Africa. People who wear it receive great boost to immunity and are invulnerable to numerous diseases, even including AIDS. It can be used for the commander's approval. We've got a death god from the Revilla Gigedo Islands. Um, it is a sandstone statue of this god, the god of death to the Aztecs. Its head is worn a little. After applying the blood of any living creature to the eyes of the statue, the creature will die from a reasonable accident within 72 hours. It's a death note. It's extremely dangerous. It's not be allowed to be used. It's not very easy to carry, though. <laughs> yeah. This military telescope is made by Polish astronomer Adam, consisting of three contractible tubes with a screw in the middle, adjusting its focal length. The telescope can observe any object beyond human visual range. However, the user will be permanently blinded. Oh, God. 
Okay, this is from Mexico. Its origin is unknown. It's suspected to be a relic from an Aztec civilization. People who carry this turtle shell will show severe drowsiness and increased sleeping time. Finally, they will slumber forever and no longer wake up. The shell can be used as an anesthesia. All right. What? <laughs> Wait, you... No, don't use it as anesthesia. No one's going to wake up. I think it's okay if you use it a short period of time. I don't think we can do anything with this, unfortunately. Yeah, this stuff is going to be the same bollocks, right? Yeah. Yeah. I hope there's nothing important here. That was cool, little room. Mm. Showing off all the stuff they found. That is actually really awesome. That's the sort of flavour text I can get behind, baby. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> you snooky. All right, before I use that, because I think gonna, something, good, something bad's going to happen when I do that, because that's the control room of the seventh lab, I think. I'm sure, um, you, I'm sure you're worrying about nothing. Nothing bad ever happens. Nothing bad ever happens in this game, nothing just numpkins? Nothing bad ever happens in this game. I monster related record notes. Remember to use the disposal device to destroy the black god factor derivatives inside after the experiment, even the hand monster. These things cannot be reused and are disposable. There are many prisoners and it's still time to do when needed. But if you keep them, it's easy to cause trouble. Anyway, if anyone dares to leave these things in my laboratory overnight, I will make the material for the next experiment. Understand? The switcher disposal device is the one in the lower left corner of the console. Don't touch any other control levers. That might be important. So these monsters were really cultivated from the laboratory by the Japanese. Black God Factor derivatives? Is it some kind of byproduct of the research on the evil gods? Yes. What is the Black God's Factor specifically? Judging by their attitude, it seems to be a substance of extremely high danger. It's a headache. It would be nice if we'd find more detailed instructions. Okay. Lower left. I don't, I don't know if you're actually going to do anything. You might just press a random button, to be honest with you. Oh. I have oh no idea what's happening right now, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, I dropped a corpse into that room, and now he's... These monsters, Bubba. Yeah, this door's open now. But the monster should be distracted, right? I mean, hopefully. Oh, no, this is back where I was. Oh, the eye's in here, isn't it? Yes. And the monsters are in here. I think. What is the p what, what was the point of me dropping that down? Oh, did you drop it on the monsters? Oh, maybe. But I still don't understand the purpose of that, you know? I mean... This just takes me back to where I was before. There's no, like, new area here as a result of it. Like, there... we've been here, like, a billion times. Is there something in here? You... I feel like I should better stand on it and go back up. Or well, maybe not. That looks bad, actually. No, that looks very bad. You wouldn't want to be there. Looks like it will become jam if I do that. Mm. I like the way the music's still playing like there's monsters in here when everything actually is dead. Hey, there we go. Maybe this. Oh, yeah. I definitely couldn't have done this before, right? Because I'd have been shot. Mm. There we go. There we go. We did it, Bubby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Note number 5,000. Let me skip to it. Like, I wish when you open the book, it opened to the newest note. Yeah, that would be very helpful. Take heed. Your sins cannot be hidden. Your punishment will not be delayed. Since the establishment of the Kano Regiment in 1934, over 5,000 people have been forced to undergo unknown human experiments resulting in death. There are countless victims of severe injuries, disabilities, disappearances, and unrecorded experiments involving people from various countries, beliefs, and regions, including pregnant women, the elderly, and infants. You have used interference, deception, concealment, coercion, fraud, or other covert means of suppression or coercion to make the uninformed public prisoners of war become subjects, and you've committed murder, extermination, slavery, imprisonment, torture, coercion, sexual assault, and other inhuman acts during the experiment, which is undoubtedly evil, inhumane, and unforgivable. The natural law is clear, and the law is hard to escape. Though you've been trying to cover up your deeds for these years, I have now collected all your evidence of guilt, including relevant experimental records, internal telephone recordings, and other materials that cannot be seen by you. Enclosed with a letter as a copy of some of the materials as proof. Our demand is that you must immediately stop all projects involving human experimentation, release the imprisoned civilians, provide compensation, return WSF-023, and destroy the Heavenly Punishment Plan and related research achievements. 
All of these must be completed within one month. If not, the consequences will be borne by you. And we do not exclude the possibility of reporting to internal organizations and requesting their intervention. At the same time, the captain and vice captain of the 141st China Dispatch Army, Konoe Sukarijo and Togo Kiyochi, should resign and be detained after issuing a public apology, waiting for further trial results. Respectfully, Qingzhang Wangsheng. I guess they're onto them, Betty. Yeah, just a little bit. The already open letter is arbitrarily placed with several document bags in the corner of the utility room. Obviously, its reader didn't take it seriously. As for the signature, Quanzeng Wangshang, it should be a code name that is unique Japanese chrysanthemum. That means the writer of this letter is very likely to be Japanese. I mean, I, I would have assumed so. So, what I'm getting from this is this outfit was not authorized by the Japanese government? Yeah. It was like a breakaway research facility. Mm. This is interesting. Yeah. Big room, baby. Don't like big rooms. Oh, it's a lovely bowl. Such a big room. No. Oh, yeah. 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 I can't open things like that, so I don't know why he says that. All right, so we have... Find the password and enter the main control room. There's a big teleporter in there. Guess we need to go and look for the password, Baby Namki. What do you prefer? Small teleporters or big teleporters? Pardon? What do you prefer? Small teleporters or big teleporters? Uh, bubble ones, because they're very cute. Oh, like, oh my god, god. You, you, you can squeeze the cheeks and be like, oh my god, like, love bubble teleporter. Well, I didn't think it would actually be a bubble. But they are. But how does it teleport? Does it just go, oh, blah, 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 and then you go? Yeah. Like a bit of bubbles at you? What the fuck is in here? It was like gas, right? Either that or the window is, uh... Very um, jammy. It wasn't jammy at all! Oh. I found a missing password fragment. I seem to be able to constantly pick it up, which is a bit weird. Look. Oh, maybe. <laughs> It'll give you all of them in a minute. <laughs> you get the entire password by pure chance, as that was gonna be. I mean, that'd be fun. Acquired fragments of code in projector. That's not very handy. We need to find a projector to watch that, I'm guessing. Well, that's very bum, baby, if you ask me. I don't remember whether... I haven't seen a projector, I don't think, I'm gonna be honest with you. Do you remember where a projector might be? No, don't ask me locations or places. Because I won't remember. You can't go in here. I can't read anything on the... The map's useless, because I can't... I don't speak Chinese. It's not really... Speaking it isn't the problem. Read. Reading Read. it. Reading it. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty big difference. I mean, in that, in that, in the case of uh, some Asian languages, genuinely, yeah, there's a huge difference, right? Like most people in like the UK, for example, that can speak English can read it too. Not everyone, but most. But that's significantly lower because the written te in a lot of Asian countries, because the written text is far more complicated. Mm. All right, guys, we got the card. Riveting. Yes. Activate and enter the Divine Realm. Install the Ramesses Cube. First of all, I'll take a picture of this. I think is the most important thing, obviously. Yeah. There's some creepy sounds in here, baby. I don't like it. I'm sure it's fine. Also, how does one install a Ramesses cube? Well, they probably have to take it, right? Be very gentle. Mm -hmm. And then smash it into the console. Oh my god. And then you just make a fit. This sounds so numb. Oh, this is definitely gearing us up for the finale, look. See what we just picked up there? Yeah. More! We have like ten of these now, that's good though, right? Mm-hmm. I've been fairly sparing with them. What is this? I don't know. Oh, well, that's where the Ramesses cube goes. Well, pyramid. 
Yeah. I don't know why it's called the Ramesses Cube, actually, because it isn't actually a cube. <laughs> I think about it. Well. That's the room we saw from the other side. Oh, no, there's a lot of rooms around here, Bebe. I don't like it. Here's the thing, Bebe. Inspect the fuse box. The... Okay, the backup component. Okay, so I need spare parts. I feel like I might have to bring the pyramid over here as well and get different generators going. Maybe. Okay, let's have a look around. First. Let's take our time. This is, this is a whole big electrical puzzle. Find the backup component. Okay, what the fuck is that? I think uh... it's just a leaking pipe, right? I, I thought it was like something evil, but I think it is genuinely just a pipe. Look. I think it's fire. Oh, yeah, and we'll die if we go through it. Oh, we need a valve. Right? Yeah. And that goes back to where we were before. We can't go that way at the moment. So we need to find a valve. And we need to touch some bumps. I don't think we need to do that one. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Tink of the fun we can have, Bubby. No. No? No. Bubby, you broke my heart. It's broken now. It's not broken. You're fine. It's broken. It'll get better. <laughs> It'll grow back. <laughs> yes. Okay, more lighter fluid. Another map. This door we have not been in yet. This looks like maybe... Oh, well, a fire extinguisher also works, right? It's not... It's actually liquid nitrogen. Honey. It said that on the screen. <laughs> Why did you say honey? <laughs> it said liquid nitrogen when I picked it up. Well... I understand that, but you... J okay, I, g I gotta say, if we use this on the fire to put it out and we don't do anything about the gas and this is supposed to magically make everything better... It is 100% gonna do that, look. I'm gonna call <laughs> such bullshit. <laughs> I call such bullshit! <laughs> I call such bullshit! Okay. What is that? This. When it goes yellow. Do we know what that is? Do it, we know that's that what it's for? I'm guessing it's the Solomon's Ring gives you text, right? It might give you clues or like some flavor text or something, but I don't know what it is. Mm. Well, we found the missing component, by the way. Well, that's good. So we can go and repair this fuse box, which looks horrific, by the way. I will say that. Okay. This is going to be me, the Mango Minx, solving one of the hardest puzzles ever, okay? Mm-hmm. I will be here a while. The power device has been repaired, Bubby. Yay! I think we open- Yeah, we're doing it. We're going through the portal to the finale, I think, Bubby. Not quite sure what that entails, but the finale, Bubby. Probably a bus fight. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know who though. I haven't. I haven't really followed the story enough to. Be, I mean, I guess our sister's gonna be there. Is it our sister? It's might be our sister, honestly. She prefers to go by the name Sissy Poo, by the way. No. Why not? Do you actually know her name? I can't remember her name. I'm sure it's been mentioned. I want to say Ling? Mm, might be Ling. Before we go through, I'll read all the documents we picked up in this room area, okay? Mm -hmm. One final burst of flavour. Like Skittles. <laughs> I don't think that's how they work. Okay. It never occurs to me that a pyramid check thing was used as a battery. It's really hard to imagine without any clues. So we put the pyramid back in its original position, which we be able to open up the path to the great dark sky. Although it sounds incredible, I'm certainly consensus, even though we're in two different worlds. Accidents during the transfer experiments are becoming more frequent, even though we have made all kinds of preparations before. There is no doubt that he is trying to break out of his own prison. Continuing to connect the two worlds is an incredibly foolish act. The toys that Togo Kiyochi cannot, effect cannot effectively limit him at all. He's too arrogant and completely ignores our suggestions. Even Konoe-sama is blinded by him and ignores the reports we submitted. This experiment must be stopped. As long as the energy source is lost, the reaction column cannot be activated. I'm prepared to hide the pyramid if it requires your help. Please reply to me as soon as possible. It looks like the final stage of their plan was to resurrect a dark god. That's presumably he's on the other side of the portal, right? Mm. And it's the same dark god that attacked our village. Mm. 
As the Great Dark Sky enters a state of weakness, the music steel situated in the middle of the battlefield will be activated. People who successfully play the score on the steel... Wow, I wonder if this is the boss fight mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> ...will do massive damage to the evil god. Yay! And that's it. Okay. Well, when the steel activates, we do massive damage to the god, assuming I can play the tune fast enough <laughs> on the stupid flute in a language I don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. I would say there's a good, great chance of that, I'm going to be honest with you. Well, good luck. Wake up, sis. Oh, wow, she's right there. Hi, sis. Just burns his arm off. Okay, this is weirdly quiet. Baby, what's happening? Alright. So what made the the dark god is named the old monk. Yes. The main thing we need to do here is just dodge his attacks until he gets a bit sleepy. Okay. okay. Oh, hang on. What the fuck? Well, we had to play the thing, remember? Yeah, I missed it and I'm going to get thrown. I didn't expect that to happen so fast, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Gotta keep the flute out most of the time here, okay? And keep an eye out for these certain attacks. Oh fuck, get out, 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 get out! Just gonna keep the flute out all the time. But when he does that thing again. Oh god, I'm getting hit here, surely. I got it! I hit it! I got the first one. Four for this one? I don't know. I, the flute put itself down after the first one! That was annoying. <laughs> it's very hard to keep track of where these arms are and the. the it's, it's activated! Yay! Well, I don't know if that's yay or not. I'm really fucking far away at the moment. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get there in time and do this. One, one, five, two, two. Okay, first one done. Got him. One. Fucking! Okay, that's lame. Right, if it, once you play one no, he puts the flute away. Is the problem here. Mm -hmm. So you have to bring it out again the second time. Okay, anyway. I think we've we done the first, we did that four times. We did it once so far. Your health regenerates at least, so it's not that big a deal. I'm dead. I would have played that, but I couldn't get the flute out and run at the same time. Mm -hmm. I can't actually move right now. Um, I can't, I am stuck in the hand. Yeah, we're glitched. We're gonna have to redo it. I can't run in. I need to hit them consecutively, I think, as well. Once a hit hand hits me. Five. Got it! Oh, thank you, babe. You saved me there, by the way. Because I forgot what I was. Five, 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 five one, one, one. One. Four? Four? Yes! We got him! Yes! Get fucked! <laughs> Face through the ground like a dickhead. Oh, we're dead. Oh, great, it's not translated the ending. Eight years Liung 
。依靠还未完善的心桥系统，我切身体验了他失踪之后的全部经历，成功帮助第三议会确定了失落石板的位置。但因为他的记忆被邪神完全污染，导致我的精神也在深度下潜中被重创。任务结束后，整整在休眠舱中昏迷了三个月之久。今天是他的遗体火化日，我特地申请来送他最后一程。因为说实话，我很敬佩这个男人，他从没有接受过专业训练，却几乎凭一己之力击败了一位邪神。要知道，这样的壮举即使在英雄辈出的玉晶会里也并不多见。他值得被我们永远铭记，就像那些在猎手组织建立之前的先驱们一样。愿诸圣保佑他，在永恒的梦境中。得享安宁。第一链接实验过后，指挥官奉命带领满边原罪部队前往云林村进行回收工作。依靠邦华德记忆的指引，他们成功打开了位于连凤山下的亚空间大门，顺利回收了包括鹤神古笛、大黑天管果、所罗门王界在内的一系列涉及超自然力量的宗教器物。其中最重要的石板，则由四位队长亲自看过，被连夜送回玉晶会，封存于剑阁最深处。罪证带在验明真伪后，由玉晶会提交给了国际猎手组织。因为指控涉及到两个主权国家的猎手分会，裁判所破例组建了调查组，负责居中协调。日本方面却表现出不合作的态度，甚至拒绝交出躲藏起来的禁卫种次郎。直到一位大审判官亲自前往古石座，位于东京的总部，才将这个罄竹难书的战争罪犯成功收监。在正式开庭前，我和指挥官作为玉晶会的代表，去监狱里见过被控制起来的禁卫种子了。令我震惊的是，直到现在他依旧不肯悔改，坚持认为自己所做的一切都是基于大义。而当他得知东京方面拒绝出庭，自己已被放弃时，却又摆出一副弱势者的嘴脸，声称自己年事已高，久病缠身，即使不被审判，也没有几日光景可活，祈求玉晶会能取消上诉，放他一条生路，厚颜无耻到一种空前绝后的境界。二零零五年八月十五日，警卫种次郎因为战争罪、反人类罪、泄密罪，被国际猎手组织判处死刑、绞刑执行。在时隔六十年后，姗姗来迟的正义终于让苟活的恶魔受到了应有的惩罚，五千名受害者的灵魂也得以安息。但那段悲惨苦痛的记忆，却永远无法从我的生命中抹去了。I'm so angry right now. Do you want me to summarize what I think? Yeah, go ahead. I'm really pissed that after all that effort, they were the, they didn't bother translating the final scene. So fucking lazy, it's unbelievable. First of all, I wouldn't recommend the game purely on that. Okay,、mm -hmm. like overall, the game was fine. It had some really interesting ideas and some fun bits, but that ending ruins it. The, the payoff is nothing because you can't read it. Like、yeah. it's really bad, especially when part is partially translated and they're selling it as translated. It's、yeah. not acceptable.、Um, like the anyway, the whole reason we decided to do a playthrough of this is because. It was marketed as being translated. Yes, and I think I believe in even a recent patch note said they updated the translation, which I don't think they did. <laughs> But anyway,、um, very quickly, here is my thoughts on what actually happened. So none of the what we went through there was was real. Okay,、yeah. we were in a lab、uh, the whole time,、mm -hmm. being used by the government in order to try and uncover the secrets of the village,、mm -hmm. and they used like our dreams or whatever it was to find the location of the sacred relics so they could dig them up and use it themselves.、Mm -hmm. They even enlisted the help of an imprisoned Japanese general who had been like captured at the time and had been like tried for war crimes or something. I think was the implication there.、Mm. That and he were they 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 like they, they, they he he helped them like pinpoint the location with、mm -hmm. us as well. But we got possessed by a dark god during、After、the dream sequence. After we died, I, I yeah, think we died we, and got possessed. I, I think we were put into a morgue. Yeah.、Um, here's the thing: I really like the aesthetic of the cut of the ending. Why wasn't there more of that throughout? I really would have appreciated it. I I know I've said before, like I was, I'm not a super necessarily fan of the tone shift, but in this one, it felt like it matched more. 
Um, I, although I, I was la laughing a bit silently, um, when, uh, the old man in the last, uh, drawn cutscene because uh he just looks so realistic compared to everybody else that's one of my pet peeves but i guess i can laugh about it a little bit more these days um and uh the switching to puppetry where everything else was like fading in slow like motion everything was a little bit funny but it fits it still fits so um i'm very sad that uh, i can't understand what happened at the end because it seems like it was a lot of info dumping yes um which isn't great but you know was the ending cutscene so you know i guess it works okay but it's like <sighs> this is gonna sound potentially a little bit harsh but i don't think you should put something up at all in a translated market if it's not translated all the way I, I don't think this should have been released I, I will at say, all. we probably come at this from a position of privilege, right? Where a lot of our stuff is translated. No, no, I'm no, assuming no, no, if you're no, in a non-English speaking no, no, no. country, here, this happens here, here, a lot. Here, here, here. You know no, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm not saying it should not have been published at all. I'm saying it should not have been published to the English speaking market no, if no. it was not fully translated. No, no I agree. I, I, I don't I, think that's a place of privilege. I just think it's I, a I place of... It's a place of accurate marketing i'm just saying that i think in a lot of other countries games get re released with just english and people buy them and then i see it all the time on nearly every video every like for steam comments forum mm -hmm. like oh, i bought this and it's not in my language mm. and things like that and i think that's quite a common thing in other countries like it's not as common here obviously mm. but i mean don't get me wrong i, don't, I still don't think they should have done it and i still don't think other companies should be selling it in re any any game in any region if it's not mm -hmm. translated fully for that region but that's what my point was. I think yeah. I think it, I think it happens in other countries quite a lot. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, but it's still it's still shitty, and like it, 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 the fact that it's not sold as like partially translated or in early access or anything like that is. I is just don't a think it, I don't think it should be released at all. I don't think it should be released in the English market if it was not translated or at the very least don't claim it's translated because there have been other games where there isn't translation and. English-speaking YouTubers will still play it, even though it's not translated whatsoever. Izik and I have played a bunch of Japanese games that have not been translated, that we that we got through and understood the gist of. Mm. So, But it did say on the store page for those, this game is not available in your language. Yeah. <laughs> just just be transparent. Yeah. Um, And if you're going to translate something, translate it all the way. Because it wasn't even a fact of just like... It's like 10% not translated, isn't it? It's weird. I'd say it was more than that. Maybe 20? Uh, yeah, closer to like 20%, I'd say. Because like, there were cutscenes where we were getting instructions on puzzles that weren't translated. There obviously was a lot of story that wasn't translated. The fuck it. I think the ending not being translated is the biggest fuck you. It really is bad, especially after because that, that that last boss fight. While it didn't like make me lose my mind, it was pretty fiddly, and the reward is nothing. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm not I'm not happy about this game. Let me say that, and I don't mean to be mean to developer, but you know, you need to make sure if you're gonna market it, your thing is translated that it's translated. I understand that maybe this is a common problem, but you should not be adding to the problem, and it should not be an excuse. Yeah. Uh, to to contribute to the problem of something not being fully translated. Okay. So, um. Yeah. But I no, will I say, good ideas. A bit fiddly at times. There were a couple times where our game got corrupted and we had to roll back to another save, but I give the developer major props for not using a single slot save system with their auto saves and giving you very good checkpoints. They get a big a, they get a big thumbs up A plus gold star for that. I'm, I'm going to give it points for interesting monsters, interesting sections, some really nice ideas. Some of the chase sequences, like Chris said, are pretty janky and broken and we did have a few bugs and game corruptions but we were always able to go back far enough to be able to fix them um but not too far as to make you no. do like hours of progress we've we done like a few minutes yeah in each instance the, the checkpoints are very reasonable like overall i think this is a a decent product and it's clear a lot of passion was put into it and I just, it looks good 
uh, it does look good. I just wish it was better translated. That's the mm. only issue, really, is the translation. Like, uh, uh, there's a lot of potential here, and I look forward to seeing if they do make another game, hopefully it'll be fully translated, because it's rare that we play games in this sort of mythos, mm -hmm. and I thought this was pretty... Uh, it's definitely, for an indie horror, it's significantly above average. Oh, yeah. Like, the actual story, I, I, give, I give good props to. Um, I especially liked... Because it was so interesting, the fact that you know all religions in this in this universe are real and they all have their own relics and gods and and and, and stuff like that. I I thought that was really it, it cool. It was like a Chinese SCP. That's really what it was, right? Yeah. Let's be honest with you. That's what this is. What this is. Yeah. Um. But you don't what, know that when you. What start. I also will say, though, in addition to making sure everything is translated, I would really encourage non-native speaking developers at any. In any in in any market where you're trying to go to a different market that you don't you're not a native speaker of the language, get someone who is a native speaker of the language or at the very least 100% fluent to go over your translation. Yeah, those notes were not great. And and make them make more sense. Like we got like the machine translation these days is actually pretty good. So we understood the gist of a lot of things. But it wasn't quite there. But it wasn't quite there. Um, uh, so I, I, I just encourage you to, uh, you know, do that. But uh, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. Anyway, that was the... That was Arrogation, Unlight of Day, or The Arrogation, as it says on the, on the title screen here. I have no idea what it's actually called, um, but it was pretty decent. It's not often we play a Chinese horror, and I thought this one was definitely above average, like I said. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably not the best Asian horror I played this year, but it's definitely decent. Mm. Definitely decent. Anyway, guys, um, make sure you check out our Patreon. There's a link in the description if you want to go and pledge. Please consider supporting us there if you can. Lots of cool rewards currently available. You can also follow us on Twitch via the link in the description, as well as all our different socials. Make sure you're following all of them. Oh my god, so numb. Finally, if you would like to watch more Asian horror, there's going to be some recommended on the screen about now. So you should go and check it out. Or there's a video that, you know, if YouTube thinks you might like. Yeah, you should be like, you, you should watch this. You should watch this. Mm. All right, anyway. We'll see you later, guys. Thank you for being numb. Have a great day.